thus far that have killed Minnesota this year have been not being able to play the run and the missed tackles. And right here, Kenny Wright just doesn't keep his body weight over his over his feet, and he lunges, and he lunges. Deuce makes a miss, and those are the things that for Minnesota defensively have just haunted them all year long. Deuce Staley in the backfield. Two tight ends for Philadelphia. Viking show flip. McDab rolls and throws too high for Chad Lewis. The tight end. Don Morgan was the cover man on Chad Lewis. Andy Reid, the head coach. This is a pass-first offense, Bill. Yeah, yeah, and that kind of surprises me, too, when you think of Andy Reid. You know, although he was in Green Bay, but look, look at Andy Reid. I mean, that, that's an offensive lineman. And he has those big offensive linemen working for him. He got Runyon in here, and he's got Trey Thomas over there. you think they grind a little bit more, especially given Minnesota's history against the run. Second and ten, quick outside to lead Todd Pinkston takes it out of bounds in Vikings territory at the 46. JB's got an update on one of the early games. Take it away, JB. Hey, Sam, Steelers kicker Chris Brown was the GOAT last week, one of five in a loss to Baltimore. The hero today, five of six, including that winning field goal in overtime. All points scored by Pittsburgh on his foot. Back to Sam Rosen and Bill Moss. You know, it's amazing, JB, how you can go from the penthouse to the doghouse this quickly in the NFL. One week, it's all, man. And it all, all takes. He's Chris back to the penthouse. Steelers 6-2. and two. Jamie Reeder and Deuce Staley, everybody split out. Empty backfield, short drop, and a pass drop by Todd Pinkston. And the Eagles receivers have been guilty of a lot of drops this season. And that's that's been one of the things this year. And when, you know, new receivers come in, to the mix and you're, you're trying to get your timing down that was a very catchable ball it looked like pinkston was glancing to the wards the middle of the field to see if the safety was there a lot of times when those receivers that don't like to go inside in the middle have to go inside they're always cautious of where that safety's going to be nate jacquette is deep sean landetta's punt coming down to the 10 yard line fair catch at the nine Landetta, 17th season, continues to go strong. 37-yard punt, no return. And Dante Culpepper in his third year, in his second year, last year, led his team to the NFC Championship game. The offensive line, Everett Lindsay starting for the injured Corbin Lucina. David Dixon, the other guard. In the backfield, Doug Chapman starts at running back. Michael Bennett still out. Carter and Moss are the keys. That'll be the matchup. The Eagles cornerbacks against the Vikings wideouts. They need to get their run game going to open up their pass game downfield, Sam. People were jumping, and the play is whistled down. Flags flying. Brandon Whiting came across for Philadelphia. Let's see if he was drawn off. Ron Blum is over for his. False start. 76, Minnesota. Off the distance for the goal. First down. That's Chris Lewinsky who moved first. That sets the Vikings back to their own four and a half yard line. Carter and Moss both to the right side. Fine Saucer and Chapman in the backfield. And it's Doug Chapman squeezing for the hole, getting up to about the eight yard line. Damon Moore. And Carlos Emmons in on the stop. Take a look at the very aggressive Philadelphia Eagles defense, one of the best in the league. Douglas, Thomas, Simon, and Brandon Whiting. Whiting like a coach on the field. Jeremiah Trotter is the middle linebacker. Emmons and Caldwell, the outside men. And the secondary may be the heart of this Eagles defense. Outstanding. And the dog of this defense is 53. Three wide receivers in, Culpepper rolling. Nobody open, turns it up, gets up to about the nine yard line. Hollis Thomas with the tackle on Dante Culpepper. You know, a couple things, one is, is look at the, look at Al Harris right here on Jake Reed. They go three wide receiver and Reed comes in. He can't get off the line of scrimmage. And that's the way it is everywhere. Everybody is matched up. This is a little sprint out pass, a little dash pass 
to move the pocket for Dante Culpepper, but he still couldn't buy him time. MD Kalu, number 94, comes in as a pass rusher. Left end, Hollis Thomas comes out. Whiting moves inside. Culpepper on third and 11, rolling. From the end zone, he fires him. It's almost intercepted by Jeremiah Trotter. Through his hands. But the Eagles defense with a wonderful series. Pressure from Hugh Douglas on Dante Culpepper. Uh, one of the things that the rushers have to do is you have to stay in your lane. Hugh Douglas has contained here. Now watch. He takes the full rush, but he does he lets Culpepper get outside of him. When you have contained on these two type quarterbacks, and it's going to play for both defenses, you have to keep them in the pocket. Mitch Berger, five yards deep, steps up. Line drive kick. Ryan Mitchell at his own 48 found a little bit of a lane and goes down at the 45 yard line jb is going to update us on another game jb go ahead the misery in detroit only four seconds away from continuing that because martin dramatica bangs home this 35 yard field goal with nine seconds remaining to break the tie again four seconds remaining we'll find out if detroit falls to o and a back to sam and bill and Tampa Bay would go to four and four, which would put more pressure on the Minnesota Vikings. You look at try to stay in attention. Look at the field position. You know, Minnesota not being able to get that first down. They wanted to establish moving the ball, eating up the clock in their first possession. Deuce Staley on the draw. took him down I don't know I don't think the pads worked this week look at the missed tackle right there Eric Kelly was in the backfield on a run blitz they brought the corner in off firing off the corner and he was in the backfield with Deuce just about the time he got the ball Deuce's longest run of the season 21 yards Eagles and the Vikings 24 Don Morgan and Orlando Thomas the safeties for Minnesota Culpepper rolling throwing into the end zone Todd Pinkston again had his hands on it. Robert Tate, the coverage. Pinkston had a chance to make a good catch for a touchdown. You know, the one thing, it, it, talking about moving these quarterbacks around, we've seen a lot of dash pass. This is a little bootleg getting McNabb out of the pocket. Watch the break on the ball by Orlando Thomas. He's going to come in right there. That breaks the thing up. Tate has a hand on it, but Orlando Thomas comes in and breaks the thing up. Freddie Mitchell is in number 84. Three wide receivers for the Eagles. On second and 10, it's a draw to Staley. And Deuce battles for about five yards inside the 20. Tyrone Carter, number 22, the safety, makes the tackle. Deuce Staley looking back in top form. It's been a while coming back. They've slowly brought him back. Carell Buckhalter had started the last four games. Staley getting the start. And it's off to a good start in today's game. Three carries, 30 yards. Cecil Martin and Deuce Staley in the backfield. On third and six. Donovan McNabb throws, and it's caught at the 15-yard line by James Thrash. Let's see where they spot it. How about the velocity on that ball? He fired it in there. It's going to be close. They'll have to measure. From this angle, it looks just a hair short. You know, Donovan McNabb in these two quick series, well, I know they script their first 15 plays and they know what they're going to run, but he sure seems decisive in where he's going with the football. You know, he's looking yeah. and, and the ball's coming out quick. Prior to this, in the last few games, I've seen a player, he really looks like he's been holding on to the ball and thinking about the reads and looking around. He's come out and he's decisive, he's fired. He made it by a nose of the football. It is a first down for the Eagles at the 14-yard line. Red zone for the Eagles. They have been perfect this season with 17 trips, 12 touchdowns, five field goals. They just haven't been there enough. Left. That's right. McNabb checking off. Cecil Martin goes to the right. Deuce Staley goes left. McNabb, short drop, looking, has time, throws, wide open, touchdown, James Thrash. 
Whatever McNabb called at the line of scrimmage, it was the right play. He got great protection, and Thrash pulls it in. And the Eagles continue their outstanding numbers in the red zone. David Akers. Out of the hold of Coy Detmer for the extra point. And the Eagles are on the board first. Sixth touchdown reception for James Thrash. 11th touchdown pass thrown by Donovan McNabb. And the Eagles have a 7-0 lead. And we welcome those of you just been watching Tampa Bay and Detroit. Sam Rosen and Bill Moss at the vet in Philadelphia, where the Philadelphia Eagles have just marched 45 yards for a touchdown, capped off on this pass. Well, Donovan McNabb audible at the line of scrimmage with under five seconds left to go on the clock. They got the ball off. And what he saw was that he had man coverage, and he, and he knew that there wasn't going to be any deep zone safety help because Minnesota was coming with the blitz to get pressure. The blitz was pricked up up front. It was all picked up. Had all the time in the world. He just waited on Thrash to beat his man. Nobody, no safety in the middle of the field. And he just was waiting for Thrash to get open. Beat Don Morgan on the play. We're early first quarter. The Eagles scoring in their second possession. See McNabb in the pocket, four for five, out of the pocket, 0 for two. Five plays, 45 yards, and McNabb to thrash, 14-yard touchdown. David Akers to kick off. Nate Jaquette is deep for Minnesota. Boy, Walters out with a knee injury. Jaquette comes up to the 16. He squeezes through. He breaks it outside and gets across the 40. Good return for Nate Jaquette. 25-yard return. This is a must-win for the Minnesota Vikings. Green Bay and Chicago are 6-2 and two in the NFC Central, which, with Green Bay winning in Chicago today. Tampa Bay has won. They are 4-4. Four and four. The Vikings need to keep pace with a win. Their last game was two weeks ago, a 41-14 loss at Tampa Bay. Last week, a bye week. And Klein Saucer, the big fullback, barrels his way across the 45. Corey Simon and Hollis Thomas, the inside men, the two tackles made the stop. You know, Sam, when you talk about the Philadelphia Eagles, you talk about the West Coast offense, you talk about Donovan McNabb, you talk about all the things that go on offensively. But the reason that touchdown was scored was because of the field position, that this defense, that this Philly defense, look at the numbers on this unit, what they presented. They gave them the short field, back to the offense, and McNabb made it work. Fine Saucer and Chapman in the backfield. Eagles showing blitz. Here it comes, and it's Chapman straight through. Brought down by Carlos Emmons, but he's got a first down at the 47-yard line of Philadelphia. Well, how about the Minnesota's doing here? Right. Two series, they're out here running the ball, Sam. This, is, this isn't Culpepper, Moss, and Carter. Heck, we haven't even talked about Moss and Carter yet. Klein Saucer, the lead blocker on Caldwell. Chapman pounding up in the middle. That's a lead play. That's a power run game play. It's evident right now that Minnesota is trying to make an attitude here. They want to run. They haven't been able to most of the season. Culpepper off the play fake, going deep down the sideline. Incomplete, intended for Byron Chamberlain, the tight end. Thrown a little high, and then he took a hard hit from Brian Dawkins, the safety. Well, it's been windy down there on the field. I was down there prior to the game. That wind's blowing around on the field. You can see the flags on the, on the top of the goalpost. I don't know if that sailed on them or not, but you can see that was well overthrown. Bring second and ten. You see the flag straight out. With the wind Double wing one back. Philadelphia. Two tight ends for Minnesota. Alone setback, Doug Chapman, the second-year man from Marshall, gets down to the 45-yard line. Picked up two on the play, brings up third and long for Minnesota. You know, Michael Bennett was sat down. He, he came back, he practiced a little bit last week on their bye week. That was their first-round draft choice, the speedster out of Wisconsin. But they didn't feel he was healthy enough, so he, he's inactive today. So you may see a lot of Doug Chapman, Travis Prentice, who they traded for with Cleveland, Jimmy Kleinsaucer. 
Right now, what we see are three wide outs as Jake Reed goes right, Moss and Carter left. And Culpepper works out of the shotgun. Here comes the blitz. Coming. It's picked up. Culpepper throwing. Completes to Chris Carter. He dives for the first down. They go underneath to Carter. And the one-time Philadelphia Eagle, he spent his first three years of his NFL career in Philadelphia, makes the catch. Culpepper had a scramble to get that get that ball out of the shotgun snap, but the blitz pickup was sensational by the guys up front. And, and nobody was around Culpepper in the backfield, and he was able to find his receivers. He found Chris Carter for the first down, but, you know, the one thing Philadelphia does is 53% of the time on third down, they're going to blitz you. They go over half the time, and Minnesota was well-versed on it, picked it up. Calvin Collins is in at left guard. Fine saucer goes straight ahead for a couple of yards. Collins replacing Everett Lindsay, who started in no, Lindsay is in there as well. You know, Sam, if I, one of the things that Minnesota needs to do, all philosophically in their offense, is they've got to get this guy right here. They've got to get the strong safety up into the box because teams have been able to stop the run with just seven. Okay? Now, that these guys are back here, and they're playing Moss and Carter over the top, and their passing game, the long ball, hasn't been there. Brad Badger, the left tackle, is out for Minnesota. Lindsay has moved to tackle, and Collins, the guard. Here's Culpepper rolling, throwing deep. Into the end zone for Randy Moss, and Moss was tied up in the corner by Damon Moore. He appealed to the official, but uh, the throw was actually about five yards inside of Randy Moss. Well, they, they, they may, if he was tied up, he's working. Here's Taylor, Al Harris right there, and he chucks him back to the back where the safety's going to be. Now, right here, he's tied up. That ball is, is, it looked poorly thrown. It just looked poorly thrown. Four wide receivers for Minnesota. On third and eight. Fine Saucer, the lone setback. They're showing blitz. Short drop. And the pass dropped by Jack Reed. Troy Vincent, the left cornerback with the hit on Jake Reed, forcing the drop. Let's see what the Vikings do on fourth and long. They send on the punting unit. Mitch Berger comes out. But that Philadelphia bunch, and they're aggressive. They play a lot of man defense up in your face. Then they bring it. They bring zone fire, fire zones. They bring the corners up. That time, Bobby Taylor rushed off the corner. Berger. Oh, by a short punt. He wanted to kick it high and short. Gets a good roll, and it goes out of bounds. Looked like the, the punt itself won about 20 yards, but he got a good roll and it goes out of bounds at the nine-yard line. The Eagles with their third possession when we come back. winter we had a little cell phone mix-up he told our travel agent steamboat springs but with the static well you know we tried to make the best of it come on kid there we go oh, what hot cocoa that's when we finally got free and clear with sprint pcs real clear calls and nationwide long distance included which is great for us because we do have two kids oh, hey <laughs> the sprint pcs free and clear plan with nationwide long distance included every minute every day morning i just leave good ah oh, i slept great must be that fresh mountain air you know nothing like it mm. oh man Ooh. introducing the jetta wagon with room for 70 cubic feet of anything ah uh, the great outdoors mm. NFL Sunday, brought to you by Southwest Airlines, proud sponsor of the NFL, official airline of Super Bowl 36. 
back at the vet in Philadelphia. NFC Central standings. Green Bay beating Chicago. Tampa Bay beating Detroit. In Minnesota, you see it three and four. The team that went to the NFC Championship game last year. Needing this win badly. Eagles start from their nine. They lead the NFC East with a four and three record. They have plenty of time. Dumped it off. It was juggled by Keith Staley. And he held on at the 11-yard line. Pickup of two on the play. Lance Johnstone, number 51, made the tackle for the Vikings. Staley, see the numbers this season. Injured in uh, the second game of the season. Makes the draw play, nothing there. Mike, good job. Inside. Stalin Colonnay, number 93, made the tackle. Winfield Garnett also went on the stop. Colonnay, who originally was a draft pick of Minnesota, left. Now they reacquired him this year and now is starting the last this is third week that he's starting well they would reacquire anybody they could that could help him out on the yeah. defensive line that's really been a problem but they're holding up here early <laughs> on third down McDan nobody open running for it and he's got the first down it's out of bounds at the 21 yard line McDan with the great running ability took off when no one was open well, a couple things one it, it, he has a lot of time. Watch the time he has from the guys up front. There's no pass rush from Minnesota. He can sit in the pocket all day long. But he just decides on his own. The clock in his head says, you know what? It's time to take off. Nobody is open. Then he finds a first down out of here. And that's something you talked about, Bill, about taking off rather than holding on to the ball too long. On first down, Stanley. Cutting back. to the 38-yard line. Kenny Wright made the stop. Deuce Daly running well. 17-yard pickup. Well, you missed tackles is going to be a theme early, and you hate to harp on it, but they've got him corralled right there. They have him. Morgan, 31, a strong safety, missed the tackle. Nobody is in the line. Once they had him corralled, they got, was able to bring him down, and this is what has been killing Minnesota defensively, and it's what has been hampering their offense. Because their offense has found themselves in a situation where they're always playing from behind. Five carries, 47 yards. This is number six. And Deuce Staley goes across the 40 to the 41. He's now at 50 yards for the game and six carries. The middle linebacker, Kylie Wong, number 52, made the tackle for the Vikings. But the Eagles seem to be mixing it up pretty well, getting their running game established. Well, if you look at the film left, a Tampa Bay game, you'd have to say, you know what, we're going to come out and establish yeah. the run. And look at the size difference in the offensive line of the Eagles and the defensive line of Minnesota. Eagles with three wide receivers off the play fake. McNabb for Freddie Mitchell. Freddie Mitchell had two catches in the first game this season. He had four last week in Arizona, and he's becoming a force for the Eagles. Donovan McNabb again, Sam all the time in the world everything starts up front and he had the time he's facing his own defense here watch freddie settle down in front of orlando thomas of free safety donovan McNabb had time to find him and just waited on his break freddie mitchell is going to be a heck of a receiver in this league he's still learning this game and learning this offense 17 yard pickup from the vikings 42 the play fake by McNabb again plenty of time nobody open slipped away from one man finally takes him down but you see the tremendous athletic ability of Donovan McNabb I see a shoe out on the field I see a jump strap out on the field <laughs> uh, Donovan McNabb this we talked about the quarterbacks early on right there a big move guys falling on the ground there's a broken ankle by Kylie Long there's a jump strap out it's just it, it you know that's the thing about these two quarterbacks when you talk about Culpepper and McNabb is their rare ability not just to scramble and make people miss, but they also buy themselves time. Picked up 15 on the play. He's checking off again. McNabb, two rushes for 25 yards. And everybody jumping across. 
Somebody moved for the Eagles. Looks like Jermaine Mayberry, the right guard, moved too soon. Ball start, four out 71, Philadelphia. Five yards, repeat first down. Sam, I was, I was talking to Donovan McNabb on Friday. I sat down with him, and I was talking to him about sitting in the pocket. I was watching him on film, and I know he wants to be classified as a pocket passer. But, you know, they'll, they'll categorize all that when he's all said and done after he's done playing. I asked him, what do you need to do to get back to taking charge of this team? And he said, I got to start running more. I have to just look at my reach, and if they're not there, do what I can do, that X element that brings it. And that's run the ball. Eagles have two tight ends in the short time. Picked up 12 on the play on the first and 15. Now here's a guy that, that's really coming along in this, in this offense. He's a little wiry kind of player, but he's had time to work with Donovan through the offseason, through training camps. He's getting pretty comfortable. You look at the numbers that he's thrown. He's got about 24 catches thus far this year, and he's right up there amongst the leaders. Second and three. Staley. the quarterback made the stop but Staley making some real nifty moves as he gets to the line of scrimmage well I, I've watched Deuce play and, and look at the numbers there you know who's got to be sitting there just just dying is Robert Griffin the injured strong safety from Minnesota Vikings because he's the guy that when he's in the game He's up there around the line of scrimmage, and teams are unable to do that to them. The Eagles driving from their own nine to the Vikings' 12. We've reached the end of the first quarter. The Eagles lead the Vikings 7 to nothing. We'll be back right after a message from your local Fox station. Why do I rent from Enterprise? For more cargo room. More people room. Or more headroom. Enterprise. So easy, it's like having a second car. Or third. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Belt for Dad. $57. Belt that comes with African Safari for Dad. Priceless. Use your MasterCard to win five priceless gifts, including a Safari. You're watching the NFL on Fox. Back. It's the Sears National Hardware Sale where this Craftsman 19.2 volt drill with work light is $99.99. You can get over 18,000 tools at Sears. Where else? It was the mountains and the snow and the water below. Are you ready? And you will know it's cold at last when the cord light hits your glass. Are you ready for a cold one? Are you ready for a cold course life? Are you ready? Are you ready for a cold course life? Are you ready for a cold Critics are calling it the next great family comedy. Seems like you send the devil down here to torture. The Bernie Mac Show series premiere Fox Wednesday. Y'all got to pray for me. Back at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia, where the Eagles have a 7-0 lead on the Minnesota Vikings and are driving. First down at the Vikings 12. The play fake, McNabb, pushed out of the pocket. Inside the 10, to the goal line, touchdown! Another beautiful run by Donovan McNabb. Can't let him out of contain. What do we talk about at the top? Talk about the quarterback who gets the most yards, either by scrambling or buying himself time to throw. It's going to be the team that wins. And thus far early on, it's been all Donovan McNabb. McNabb's second rushing touchdown of the season. And the Eagles with a marvelous start to this game. Cap off a 91-yard, 10-play drive. David Akers' extra point is good. The Eagles have a 14-0 lead. There's the bootleg. He's looking downfield for the throw. Everyone's covered up. 
reverse pivot and take look, look at the moves here you give him a couple spoons and a tambourine he might be a one-man band get a little morocco going what happened to the basketball finger roll <laughs> Silverado Heavy Duty. Available with the new Duramax diesel. The most powerful diesel you can get in a pickup. Silverado Heavy Duty. More truck from Chevy. Sunday is brought to you by Chevy Trucks, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. By Dr. Pepper, your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Be you. Nothing's better. Dr. Pepper. By Visa. It's everywhere NFL fans want to be. And by Applebee's Neighborhood Grill and Bar. Eating good in the neighborhood. Applebee's. David Inkers kicks off. Nate Chuckett at the four. Return by Jaquette. Second good return. Akers in on the tackle as Jaquette gets up to the 45-yard line. Dante Culpepper will try to match the exploits of Donovan McNabb. This Thanksgiving, one man is going back in time. 911! White man down! He may not know their custom. How shall I introduce thee? Jamal! Scott! Uh, Walker! Woo, woo, woo. Silence! But he's got all the right moves. So you'll help with the rebellion. Power to the people! Execute him! I gotta go! Black Knight. Prepare to taste cold steel. <laughs> Do you mock me? Do you mock me? Ready PG-13. November 21st, only in theaters. The tailgate crew is coming. The Miller Lite tailgate tour. Join the party as it rolls across the country and win a chance to tailgate at Super Bowl 36. Want a party like the pros? Grab a Miller Lite. It's the Miller time. Chevy Trailblazer, everything else just seems kind of weak. The all-new 270 horsepower Chevy Trailblazer, like a rock. How do you top the first week of 24? Some very bad things are happening. Fasten your seatbelt. Time to call mom. Go to hell! You're about to find out. I got two shooters trying to hit me. 24. Get out! All new at 90 Central Fox Tuesday. You know, on the touchdown run, Right here, Deuce Staley. They've been hammering him all day. He's got seven rushes for 58 yards. So they block down, and you think it's a run. Lance Johnstone loses contain outside because he's playing the run. And Donovan McNabb is gone. To the linebacker, Mike Chapman on first down. Loss of a yard. The Eagles' defense penetrates. Hollis Thomas, good run stopper, made the tackle. JB's got an update. Let's go to him right now. Hey, Sam, Giants trying to stay right on the heels of the first place Philadelphia Eagles. 
Seven plays, 44 yards later, a three-yard run by Ron Dane, seven-nothing Giants. Then take a look at Jeff Garcia hooking up with his favorite target, Terrell Owens, 25 yards. It's 7-3 San Francisco over the Saints. Back to Sam Rosen and Bill Moss. Terrell Owens may uh, not be happy with the coach and the coach with him, but Owens makes plays. Right here on second down for Minnesota. Going out to Randy Moss. He's hit hard. He trucks the ball, but as he went down, let's see what the call is. I think he was down at the 45-yard line. They, they, they blew it dead. Yeah, they blew it dead. Dawkins with a hard hit, you know that but you... it was it spotted at the 46-yard line. It's still Vikings ball. Vikings had only 29 yards offense in the first and Donovan quarter. McNabb himself had 112. There's a shot right there. The ball is now well before he's down. That's a fumble. Wow. But they can't challenge it, however, because they blew the play dead. Ruled down by contact. There's a third and one for Minnesota. An important play. Culpepper trying to sneak for it. This will be very close. Let's see where the spot is. Vikings have to get something going. Eagles have the two touchdown lead. And the Vikings have yet to get anything sustained. Sam, you know on third downs, third downs, the Vikings have had 11 rushes for first downs. Dante Culpepper coming into this had nine of them. The rest of the team had two. I believe this is going to be his 10th. They bring the chains out to measure. Thus far, the Eagles have done exactly what they've wanted. They've taken Carter and, Cut and Moss out just inches short. It's going to be fourth and inches for Minnesota. Carter's had one catch for a first down on the third down play, and Moss had that one catch on a little swing pass. You look at the play selection by Minnesota, seven rushes and six passes. Very well okay. balanced. Eagles bring in Paul Grassmatis, Derek Burgess. Here's fourth and inches. Fine saucer in the backfield with Dante Culpepper. I think he come up here and try to hard count him first off, see if he can get him to jump, get the easy way. Four wide receivers, quarterback sneak. He only needed a couple of inches. Big guy, Dante Culpepper, who weighs 265, maybe 270, should have enough. Down in the trenches. Lee Lewinsky. Take a look at Big Lou. He's in the follow up. He's got this guy going that way. This guy. Look at that. You don't think a yard is tough to get in the NFL? I do. First down, Vikings. The champion, Landon and David Moore, takes him down at the 40-yard line. Picked him up about four on the play. Brad Badger suffered a sprained left toe and will not return. Galvin Collins, number 65, fifth-year man, is in at left guard. And Everett Lindsay, the versatile lineman, has moved to left tackle. You know, the one thing that I have to compliment Minnesota on is, is them being patient. They're not trying to force the deep ball downfield. They're, you know, a lot of times in the past, they get behind and they just start throwing the ball downfield to Moss and Carter. They're establishing the run and chewing up yards. Moss in motion. Well, here's Randy Moss. One of the things they're trying to do is get him in motion so you can't roll coverage. But as he comes out of this break right here, he Ooh. takes a shot. And I believe that ball was in the air when he took the I shot. So too. Caldwell is allowed to make contact with him because he's inside of five yards of the line of scrimmage. You can get a chuck on him, but not when the ball is in the air. That should have been pass interference. Paul Pepper is two for seven for 19 yards. Have to get to the 34 for a first down. He drops the ball, picks it up, in trouble, down he goes. Okay. Hugh Douglas was there to wrap him up for Philadelphia. And right now, things looking 
very shaky for the Vikings. I don't think he was ready for this snap. I think the snap came. He wasn't ready, or he didn't see it. Or possibly Moss in motion. Watch, watch. Moss comes across just as the snap comes, and I don't think he saw it coming. Jeremiah Trotter and Hugh Douglas there to make the tackle on Dante Culpepper. Mitch Berger's third month of the game. It's been all Eagles to this point. Berger gets time. And over end punt, Brian Mitchell. Fair catch at the 14-yard line after the whistle. Some pushing and shoving going on. Patrick Chukwura, number 50, involved. Now he gets into the face of Brian Mitchell, 32-yard punt, no return. The battle on special teams. What would you do if someone passed you the keys to a Pontiac Grand Am for a week? Now I'm getting psyched. Uh -oh. Another unfortunate side effect of hunger. Grab a Snickers, packed with peanuts, caramel, and chocolate. Later on, we're gonna take a nap. <laughs> Snickers, don't let hunger happen to you. There's a place where people smile big, eat good, and always score a sweet deal. It's got to be Applebee's. What makes the honey of a deal? Our amazing new honey pepper sauce. It makes honey grilled chicken and honey pepper steak a taste of honey heaven. Throw in our famous riblets, now honey barbecue style, and you'll know why. It's got to be Applebee's. It's good. Honey, honey, oh yeah. In the neighborhood. What happens tonight? Programs expanding in ways no one ever dreamed of. Will leave you breathless. The x file season premiere tonight at 9 on Fox. Fox Tuesday, catch Keeper Sutherland in a new episode of 24. That's Tuesday at 9, 8 Central, right here on Fox. And if you missed the premiere of 24, you can catch it tonight and tomorrow on FX. Check your local cable listing. Everybody I've talked to goes says, great show. Keeper Sutherland, outstanding. Deuce Staley on first down. Gets up to about the 14-yard line. Back to the line of scrimmage. Big day so far for Deuce Staley. Well, been very, uh, he's been a very big part of this offense. They've matched him up outside, get the pep ball to him. And most importantly, they're trying to establish that run game. Take a little bit of the heat off this passing offense. He lost a yard on the last carry, second and 11. At the 14, short drop. McNabb throws to James Grant. Ball is pulled out of his hand. See what the ruling is. I, 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 I tell you, well, two things. One, nobody blew the whistle. Two, nobody threw the bag out on the field that marked that it was a fumble. Uh, the Vikings think it should be a fumble. The officials are discussing it. The ball was ripped out of the hands of James Thrash by Kenny Wright, the quarterback. Minnesota first down. Minnesota recovers. It's a fumble and a recovery for the Vikings. Normally on a fumble, if somebody throws that little blue bag, that little blue bean bag out on the field, he gets hit there, his knee, ah, that's a fumble. That's a fumble. He wasn't out on the ground. That's a big play by Kenny Wright. Ball's out. So a big chance here for the Vikings at the Eagles 24-yard line. Three wide receivers for Minnesota. Lawson Carter left, Jake Reed right. Roll it, roll it. Culpepper sends everybody out. Throws to the tight end. Byron Chamberlain, he's out of bounds inside the 20. Al Harris took him out of bounds. Short pickup. Byron Chamberlain's been a guy that uh, has made a lot of catches in this offense. Watch how they use this right here. They're going to send Moss and Carter down the field. Watch what it does. They, these guys are gone. These guys are gone. Everybody's gone. 
Here comes Chamberlain underneath. Picked up four on the play. Ryan Saucer and Travis Prentice in the backfield now for Minnesota. Culpepper checking off. Again, a short drop. Floating it out to Randy Moss. And it actually hit Troy Vincent. The wind may have held that pass up, Bill. What do you think? No, that was Dante Culpepper because they're so used to watching the safety roll over the top to Moss's side. He tries to throw the ball in between the two of them and hangs it up in the middle. He knows he's coming over the top, so he tries to put the ball here, and it's just not enough. He's trying to position the ball to Moss because he knows he's getting that high-low coverage. Meanwhile, the middle of the field is wide open at Byron Chamberlain. Ray wide receivers for the Vikings. Paul Grass Madison at tackle for Philadelphia. On third down, the blitz coming. Culpepper in trouble. He's down. David Moore tripped him up. Second sack for the Eagles. Big defensive play by the safety, David Moore. Watch these guys coming. Right up the gut here in the middle. There's pressure from everybody around. The thing about Philadelphia is a lot of teams there's pressure and blitz and come after you, and nothing really happens. When Philadelphia does, they usually get to the quarterback. First sack of the season for David Moore earlier. Jeremiah Trotter and Hugh Douglas share the sack. There's a 43-yard try for Gary Anderson, and it's good. And a very important three points for the Minnesota Vikings. Randy Moss and Chris Carter have caught only two passes together today. In and out. Good. Keep the victim calm. Cook. And one, and two, and three. And okay, there you go. That's over 100 channels, sports news, digital music, installations free, and it's only $31.99 a month. Just $31.99 a month gets you over 100 channels of DirecTV programming. Right now with free professional installation. So it was the digital music that... Yeah. Yeah. Home Spring. Where they take the finest dirt... Add the finest water. And voila, ear broke. You want the best here, it'll cost you. But the best pizzas won't cost you. Now you can get the new Ultimate Lover's Pizzas from Pizza Hut. For just $8.99. Our Lover's Pizzas are now Ultimate. Now with six kinds of luscious cheese. Six different kinds of seriously satisfying meat toppings. Or five garden veggies. Or two layers of zesty pepperoni. The new Ultimate Lover's Pizzas. Not $12.99, just $8.99. $8.99. How about your towel? Only at Pizza Hut. What would you do if someone passed you the keys to a Pontiac Grand Prix for a week? I'm out, man. Let's go. I'm out to see the world. San Francisco, here we go. Are we having fun yet? Doesn't take much to have fun, does it? <laughs> it's like riding on a surfboard. You can have Tommy Dixie if I wear this. All uh, right, Dixie. I can smell the salt water from here. Give us a swell, baby. So what would you do with the Pontiac Grand Prix? Tell us. Pontiac.com. There's some good surf out there. <laughs> His favorite student defied his trust. He bought his college essay off the internet. Now, will it be too much for Senate to handle? You know, this is why teachers quit. That's why we quit. The hit series Boston Public, all new tomorrow on Fox. This patience thing isn't going over very well with Randy Moss and Chris Carter. Mike Tyson, offensive line coach, is trying to tell Chris, hey, We've got a pace going here. We've got to get first downs. And here, look at Randy Moss. All the way down here, away from the rest of the team. These guys want the ball, and they want the long ball. They've got to establish a run game. They've got to be patient because it's not there. They're not happy. There's Brian Mitchell on the return for the Eagles from the 10. Finds the lane. Mitchell up near midfield, out of bounds. Outstanding return for Brian Mitchell to the 48-yard line. The Eagles with excellent field position after a 38-yard return by Brian Mitchell. Tyrone Carter finally took him out. That was fun. <laughs> hey, would you be my big, strong watchdog and guard my bud like I like this to the ladies? Mm. 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 <laughs> hey, that's such a hey, hey, don't go on over. Oh, you got moves. Oh, you got moves. Yeah.
up and never let you down. Make it a Bud Light. It ain't that bad. Hey, Dad, what's that? That's a pink flamingo. What's that? Bullfrog. What's that? That son is a Chevy Monte Carlo. If you want to see 700 horses under a hood, spend a day by the lake at the famous Daytona infield. But bring your Visa card, the official card of NASCAR. Isn't nature great? Visa, it's everywhere NASCAR fans want to be. I couldn't wait to show off my new wheels at the reunion. Until I told my State Farm agent I really needed to fix fast, and he mentioned service first. When you choose State Farm Service First Claims Program, you don't have to get asked one. Go straight to a participating repair center where they guarantee their work. It's as simple as that. I was looking good again in no time. Ronnie? Service first. Just one more way. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. When Bart commits a crime, who'll do the time? The first step is to admit that you're bad parents. Can Homer and Marge escape? Are you sure this is the best way to get these things off? Nope! The Simpsons season premiere, 8, 7 central, tonight on 5. Yeah. The man in the baseball cap is John Harbaugh, the special teams coach, and his special teams are outstanding. You see the rankings for the Eagles, both in returns and coverage. McNabb looks down for finger to flag. Interference. Absolutely flag on that play. Kenny Wright is the man called for the pass interference. The problem was, Sam, he, he wasn't looking back at the ball. That, that's, that was, that's what happened there. Had he been looking back at the ball to make a play on the ball, that would have been one thing. Ron Blum. Holding the announcement. Number 20, Minnesota. Five yards, first down. We have to remind Ron where the camera is. <laughs> He's got a good backside. He had his hand on his collar. Now, what's going on on the sideline here, Bill? Well, Mike Tyson's trying to settle down and the, the two deep threats. Randy Moss, I think he's making some headway with Randy Moss. He got, he got a little dap with a fist after they parted ways, but I think he's still having a hard time calming down Chris Carter. A bunch to the left side. Freddie Mitchell is in for Todd Pinkston. They go reverse. This is a pass up. He's got a great arm, but there's nobody open. So Mitchell runs. Mitchell pulled it down and turned it in a 12-yard run. Well, for Mitchell, watch. No, here's it. Look how deep the safety is back here. So they've got coverage. Nobody's buying that this is a reverse, and the coverage is downfield. The safeties are real deep. Pretty good judgment by Mitchell to see it's not there, not to force it to take off and find some seam and some more missed tackles by Minnesota. Eagles mixing it up beautifully. Todd Pinkston is back in. First down, Eagles at the Vikings 35. The lane is sailing. Nothing that time. Time for an update. Run the clock, television center. Here's JB. Hey, Sam, take a look at what the Giants are doing. Terry Collins dropping back. Play action. Looking, looking. Throws it nice and post route. The Ike Tillian is now 14 up in Giants over Zona. Jeff Garcia flushed out of the pocket. He's dangerous here, hooking up with his favorite pocket. Carroll Owens for the second touchdown reception. How do you settle a few? Kariuchi Owens, touchdown. Back to Sam and Bill. Thanks, JB. Hasn't Jeff Garcia turned into something special? He's really done a great job. He's the quarterback of the future for a guy that wasn't supposed to be the quarterback of the future. Over the middle, and it's complete to the tight end, Chad Lewis. Last year, Lewis was the favorite target for Donovan McNabb. This year, the receivers are better. Lewis is being used a little less frequently, but still an important part of the offense. Well, you know, last year, he was kind of McNabb's security blanket. He always knew where to find it. He's a guy that runs good routes, really a possession-type receiver, good hands, and a real hard worker. This year, they thought they'd open up the offense a little bit more. Now they're getting back to some of the basics. Lewis in motion, Deuce Stanley. Looks like he was 
going to get bottled up and then just hopped over Trey Thomas and the defender and got the first down. You know what Minnesota needs to do? They need to go to the sidelines, every one of the defenders, and go get their ankles taped outside their shoe. Go get spatted up because something's going to happen to them. There they get truck, just runs over. Look at Thomas right here. Lando Thomas just falls down, completely falls down. First down, Eagles at the 18. Staley, 10 carries, 67 yards. The play fake, McNabb rolling and throws to John Lewis incomplete. Eric Kelly was covering on the play. Thrown a little bit high. Jordan Lewis. Once again, the Eagles threatening in the red zone. You know, you had a lot more rollouts for Donovan McNabb. And you can see the Philadelphia fans, they got that let's roll out. Yeah. Remember Todd Beamer? Right. And that, that, that thing has really sparked the nation. President Bush made reference to it in his speech the last time he addressed the nation. And now the Philadelphia Eagles fans are saying, let's roll out. Let's get McNabb moving a little bit. Let's get this team jumping. Four wide receivers for the Eagles. Blitz coming. McNabb got rid of it and complete. Intended for Deuce Staley. And it's off his hands. In the pocket, Donovan McNabb has been sharp. Rolling, he's uh, he's been a little bit in that little off. You know, he hasn't done it for a while. Heck, <laughs> I don't think he's done it much the first half of the season. But when he does move around, it creates a great stress on the defense. Go get that ironed out. Here's third and ten. With Staley and Reeder in the backfield and Mitchell in motion. McNabb, some pressure. In trouble. Comes more trouble and he throws incomplete. Trying to get it to Deuce Staley. But the Vikings put some pressure on that time. Yeah, I got to tell you what. If I'm the Vikings, I am so frustrated right now. Take a look at how much time he has on the sack clock. Sitting in the pocket. You're supposed to get there in three seconds. This guy buys himself more time than maybe anybody else in the league. I've seen Jake Plummer, Plummer do an outstanding job at it at times, but I don't think anybody's more athletic at doing it than Donovan McNabb. David Akers out of the hole of Troy Detmer. It's a 36-yard field goal try. And it is right through. Strong leg of David Akers. The Eagles have been in the red zone three times today and come away with 17 points. Digital camera history. It's sleek, stylish, alluring. The soul of an elf with a personality that loves to share. Beautiful body, brilliant mind. Heart stopping, isn't it? The Power Shot Digital Elf from Canon. Are you digital yet? We pitted Castrol Syntec 1030 against the leading conventional oils in some of the world's toughest tests. The 96-hour TU3 viscosity test. The M111E designed to break down an oil into sludge. The blistering hot BWIC deposit test. Not one conventional oil could pass all these tests. Then again, there's nothing conventional about Syntec. Castrol Syntec protects in ways other oils can't. Now, from the NFL shop, you can customize your NFL replica jersey. Pick a team, choose a number, your name, or favorite player. 1-877-NFL-SHOP now. Eagles special teams, they work at it real well. That's Mike Bartram. The holder is Coy Detmer. Well, watch it. The snap. It's a one-handed snap, and when he throws it back there, the laces are always facing out, just like it is right there. Never have to turn it, never have to position it. The ball's set and ready to go, and that's all because of the deep snapper, Mike Bartram. Mike Bartram. A third tight end on the Eagles was brought in for his 
long snapping ability last year. David Akers to kick off. Nate Jaquette has had two good returns. He's deep. Jaquette comes up for the 13. Right up the middle. And he got tripped up. That's a good tackle on the play by Tim House. <laughs> One of the fine special teamers. <laughs> He's a man who doesn't like training camp. They well, usually sign yeah, him late. Is, he always gets that call because somebody's going to need him at the end of training camp. Great. Credit card bill. Look at these fees. Honey? One rate for purchases, a higher rate for cash advances, <laughs> and those telemarketers. Relax. We switched to Capital One's new no-hassle card. Huh? <gasps> Introducing Capital One's new No Hassle Platinum Card. No balance transfer fees, no telemarketing, one low fixed rate. Huh? Honey? What's in your wallet? Always fresh, as good, or better than any coffee house. And it costs less. Dark Mountain Roast Coffee, only at 7-Eleven. Get it while it's hot. It's always hot. Damn. Oh, thank heaven. Swordfish. Buy it on video. Best crackers in the world. You can do this in 60 minutes. Get the password. I need in 60 seconds. To action. Three. More time. More two, time. One. Not everything ends the way you think it should. Swordfish. Buy it on video cassette and DVD. Fox Tuesday. What stands between Eric and his new girlfriend, Donna? Is this kid the girl's phone number? All new That 70s Show. Ah. Then Adam Sandler is going back to college on an all new Undeclared. It all starts at 8, 7 Central, Fox Tuesday. Randy Moss. Going out to the right side, he has only one catch, as does Chris Carter. Vikings have only 35 yards total oh, offense oh. thus far in the first half. From their 31, the draw play to Doug Chapman. Line of scrimmage where he stacked up. Everybody knows about the big playability of the Vikings, but they haven't really been able to come up with many big plays this year. In the league, 50-yard catches. There have been 40. Carter has had one. Randy Moss, none. That's surprising to oh, me. It's shocking. And that's because defenses have figured out that they can roll coverage to Randy Moss and make it difficult for placement. Dante Culpepper's forced it five or six times this year, and it's ended up in interception, so he's backed off trying to force the long ball. Viking three wide receivers out of the shotgun over the middle. Broken up. Jeremiah Trotter, the middle linebacker, drops back in coverage and helped break it up. JB's got an update. Take it away, JB. Thanks. Get him back into it, fam. Take a look at Aaron Brooks' play action. He's dangerous on the move. Hooking up with Joe Horn. 22 yards strike. It is, and the two-point conversion is good. It is now 14-11. San Francisco back to San Rosa. That's Joe an Mark. important game with St. Louis winning today. New Orleans and San Francisco battling for second. And Atlanta came up with a big win. Atlanta will be at Green Bay next. Minnesota one for six on third down. Hugh Douglas, the ball popped loose. Bobby Taylor picked it up. Eagles recover the fumble. Hugh Douglas was there. Big hit, forced the fumble. Well, they covered the blitz on this side, so that leaves man protection backside with Hugh Douglas. And this isn't Brad Badger. That's Ever Lindsay. He slid out the tackle because Calvin Collins can only play guard. He gets beat on the outside, right out of the snap count. Loud Philadelphia crowd. It looked like Lindsay never got back in his stance to have a chance to stop Hugh Douglas. Hugh Douglas now with six and a half sacks. He's got one and a half today. Three sacks for the Eagles, who go from the 19-yard line. Play. 
Hugh Douglas, who says he represents the little men at 270 pounds. Well, that's what inspires him. And last week against Arizona, I mean, he just was able to get nasty. He can get physical with those big 346-7 kind of guys. He gets leveraged by getting underneath them, and then he has an explosiveness to close on the quarterback. And the best thing I like about him, he plays with a mean streak. One and a half sacks today for Hugh Douglas. McNabb, big pressure, getting rid of it. touchdowns on the road has caught two today at home. David Akers for the extra point. It's a 21 point lead for the Eagles. Well credit the defense again for getting the ball back to him. This is complete Philadelphia Eagle team play. There's the three bunch receivers over the side. Now, what they do is they get the mismatch. Now, these guys are picked up. Thrash settles down right underneath as he sees they're picked up. Orlando Thomas is trying to get over there to sort it out, as is Eddie McDaniel, but Thrash cuts it back across the grain. Nobody's around. Good pickup for the Eagles. James Thrash signed as a free agent. Donovan McNabb connects with him. McNabb with two touchdown passes, one touchdown run. Crash with two touchdowns today. And the sack and the fumble converted into seven points for Philadelphia. Now, the Eagles only one and three at home, Bill, but they're really playing well today. They're having their way. They're having their way with Minnesota on offense and defense. Hard to understand why the Eagles have been one and three at home. But part of it might be the schedule, too. Well, look at that. They played two of the best teams in the NFL in Oakland and St. Louis. And they played them both tough. Yeah. You know, they gave up a lot of yards to Oakland. But, hey, that one point to St. Louis went down to the wire. David Akers to kick off. at the 38-yard line. Good return. NFL on Fox next week. It's a doubleheader weekend. All begins with the best pregame show there is at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. And then the Atlanta Falcons go to Lambeau to meet the Packers. Philadelphia Eagles take on the Dallas Cowboys. Second game, Bears go to Tampa in a big matchup. Coverage begins at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. Earlier today, St. Louis won over Carolina. Warner, one touchdown. Brett Favre had a big day in Chicago. Nine and one lifetime at Soldier Field. Play fake by Culpepper. Minnesota down by 21. Intercepted. Intercepted by Troy Vincent. And now the turnovers are killing the Vikings. threatening to turn it into a route. Well, there's a sprint pass, but Eagles are onto it. The coverage on the receivers is being won by the Philadelphia Eagles secondary. You, know, you talked earlier, Sam, about the strength of this unit, the defensive unit, and it lies in the secondary, the fact that they can cover up man-to-man, -man, and that enables them to blitz an extra guy, to bring an extra guy all the time on pressure on the quarterback. Eagles have two tight ends as they go from the Vikings, 49. McNabb, plenty of time. Waits and finds Deuce Staley. Plus Riley Wong. Gets a first down, out of bounds at the 35-yard line. JB has another update for us. Let's go to him right now. Sam and Bill, take a look at Arizona getting back into it with the Giants. Plummer looking, looking. Good coverage downfield. Flex 
breaks out the pocket, goes back left. What did you do? 38 yards. Look at the little push right here by David Paulson. Not called. I always say the father must be an official. 14-7. Giants over the zone. Back to Sam and Bill. Good job of buying time by Jake Plummer. 15 yards picked up on the last play. Eagles on top of the NFC East. Giants in second place. Thomason shifts. McDam dumps it off to Deuce Staley. And he goes down the sideline. Cuts inside a hard hit as he went inside the 20. Orlando Thomas, number 42, with the hit. But Deuce is hopping. Well, he should, because basically this offense right now is just doing whatever they want. They've got the pass, they've got the rollouts, their power running the football. Now they come back and they catch this defense with a screen. Orlando Thomas with a big hit on Deuce. He lit him up, but you know what? Deuce is so excited about his play today and the opportunities he's had to touch the ball. Heck, it doesn't matter. Go ahead, hit me, he said. <laughs> he's putting up some great numbers, and the, when the, he touches the ball, the fans yell, Deuce, oh, Deuce. No. The, to James Thrash. Maybe a holding call on this one. Eric Kelly was the cornerback covering Thrash. And that's the call. It'll be an automatic first down for Philadelphia. Holding 25 Minnesota. Five yards. First down. Well, watch. what's going to happen is there's 25. He's going to get his collar because there's a pump fake right there, see? And he bites on the pump fake, and when he realizes Strash is coming back and going deep on him, reaches out and latches on. Puts the ball at the Minnesota 13. So the Vikings usually come out of a bye week pretty strong. Right now, are being buried. Cecil Martin and Terrell Buckhalter in the backfield is Buckhalter. Tell you what they should have bought on that bye week. They should have bought some defensive players. If you have a bye week, go spend money. Go buy some <laughs> defensive players. They didn't buy anything no. on the bye week. That's the problem. They bought time. Terrell Buckhalter, a good job behind look, the Look blocking. at this double team right there. They just blow Stone Colony right off the line of scrimmage. Buckhalter leads the Eagles in rushing. with his second touchdown of the season. And the Eagles convert another turnover. Earlier, it was the fumble recovery. This time, the interception. 49-yard drive. And it's a first-half blowout for the Eagles. And there's no possible way, you saw the look of Randy Moss, there's no possible way that that offense of the Vikings can work when their defense can't stop anything. David Akers for the extra point. The Philadelphia Eagles, 31-3, with 2.20 to go in the first half. There's the surge, and this is just Buckwalter over the top. Nothing to that, the way that offensive line has been playing. But if you go back to the play before, that the, the job they did on this run, I want you to take a look at the right tackle, John Runyon. He's going to get this block here on Colonnay and get him knocked out. Then he's going to come up and get up on his safety. Watch what he does to Carter. He just blows him out of the way, too. John Runyon with a double block. First knocking Stalin Colonnay off the ball and then getting up on the safety, Carter. Outstanding job of Big Runyon. And the Eagles continue to be perfect in the red zone. Five possessions today. They've scored on all five. Four touchdowns, one field goal. They're perfect all season. Right now, everything going right for the Eagles. Offensively, they started fast, and then the defense has done its job as well. Well, the offense started fast because remember what the defense did? They shut down Minnesota down here. got yeah. them backed up, and they got the ball on their 40-yard line going in. And then that's been a key. And Andy Reid talked about one thing. He talked about this is the time of year that teams start separating themselves from the rest of the pack. 
Eagles have 269 yards offense, 139 passing, 130 rushing. Akers picking off Jaquette at the three. Slips one man, forced out of bounds at the 24-yard line. The Eagles defense is forced into turnovers. The sack by Douglas and a fumble turned into a touchdown by James Thrash. Interception by Troy Vincent. 49-yard drive and Corral Buckhalter with a one-yard dive for the touchdown. It's all working for Philadelphia. Harold Morrow on the backfield with Jim Klein Saucer from Minnesota as they go from their 24. Second catch of the game, Brian Dawkins took him down up the 44-yard line. And we have reached the two-minute warning. The Vikings' last game was two weeks ago. They lost 41-14. They are down 31-3 with two minutes to go in the first half. Fox NFL Sunday. Brought to you by the United States Marine Corps for 226 years of faithful service. Thank you, Marines. Happy birthday. They came from every corner of the country, from small towns and big cities. But they all shared one thing in common. They belonged to a family called Marines. A tough and determined few dedicated to protecting everything we hold sacred. And still, they come. Celebrate the 226-year history of those proud few who have earned the title, Marine. Tell me, when will you be mine? Tell me, quando, quando, quando. We can share a love divine. When will you say yes to me? Okay, the coast is clear. Good. Listen, Teddy, everyone's excited about the new Windows XP, right? Yeah. Well, now we get them really fired up. We take XP, we load it onto our 300S. We add a free CD burner, include a flat screen, and we sell it all for $9.99. $9.99 with a flat screen? Exacto mundo. offensive production in a half for the Eagles since 1988. They have put up 31 points. Otto Moss is going to head down to the Eagles locker room for halftime. I think they may be having a party down there. That's right. Just tell Andy Reid, whatever you're doing, you're doing right. Culpepper under pressure. And the Eagles are there. Picked up maybe two on the play. Culpepper likes to run straight ahead as Opposed to McNabb, who likes to run outside, Bill. Uh, he is dangerous when he gets ahead of steam, but right now he'd settle for anything. And he hasn't been able to get anything going. Corey Simon is out with a leg injury for Philadelphia. Paul Grass Mattis, number 96, is in. Out of the shotgun, everybody out. Cole Pepper in trouble. Got away from Douglas. And Chris Carter, did he stay in bounds? No, it's ruled incomplete. You know, Carter made a valiant effort. You know, take a look at this here. One, one of them was saying, one of the officials, two officials on that sideline. One is the linesman. He looks like he's on the way. And yeah. the other is the side judge right here. He comes running in. He says, catch. Watch his hands. He comes in and says, catch. He says, no. He says, catch. And then he goes, no. <laughs> and Mike Tyson's over there saying, catch. Vikings one for seven on third down. Three wide receivers in. Harold Morrow in the backfield. Here comes the blitz for the Eagles. Culpepper throws and completes it. To Jake Reed out of bounds at the Eagles 44-yard line. It's a first down for Minnesota with 119 remaining in the first half. And the Vikings down by four touchdowns. And now throw out that game plan of trying to run the ball. 
they got to find a way to get some points in a hurry. The Eagles defense has been outstanding. A lot of pressure on Dante Culpepper. Done a great job of keeping Randy Moss and Chris Carter quiet. Over the middle, complete to Byron Chamberlain, the tight end. And inside the 25, where Brian Dawkins takes him down. Pick up of 20 on the flight. And the Vikings call timeout with 107 remaining. Their first timeout. See the total yardage in the first half. And don't forget, at halftime, the guys are ready back in the studio. JB, Terry, Howie, and Chris have the scores and highlights from around the league today. And of course, the Fox Sports sticker keeps you updated with up to the second stats. It's all coming up on the Visa halftime report. Corey Simon has come back in for Philadelphia at defensive tackle. Bill, this is surprising to me. I really thought Minnesota would have a lot more going for them coming back from the bye week. Well, and given Jenny, hard, yeah, given Denny Green's record, yes. And the fact that just the fact that they have that much explosion in their offense with Carter, Moss, and Culpepper. Out of the shotgun on first down from the Eagles, 24. Culpepper gets time outside to Randy Moss. Hurry up offense for the Vikings. Moss's second catch of the game. Correction is third. Harold Morrow in the backfield for Minnesota. Now, now go with three wide receivers. Paul Pepper pulled it down to run. job by Philadelphia Eagles of containing Dante Culpepper in the first half. He has not been able to get out of the pocket. Yeah. He has not been able to break anything up the middle. They've stayed in their rush lanes and they've closed the pocket down around him. The penalty against the Vikings. That's frustration. Personal foul. Haunting. Number 65, Minnesota. 15 yards. Repeat second down. Calvin Collins. There's Calvin Collins right here. And he gets shoved, and then, now, then he gets up. He gets shoved from behind, and he gets up, and he gets in Corey Simon's face, and the flag comes out. Almost an automatic sets the Vikings back to the 37. They have to get to the 19, make that the 14 for a first down. Culpepper completes the Jake Reed inside the 30 to the 29. 26 seconds remaining in the first half and another timeout. Hey, can you imagine, Sam? <laughs> They got a 15-yard penalty for that, for, for taunting. I mean, you're taunting? Are you kidding me? I mean, he went up to him, Sammy, and gave him one of these. What? <laughs> just, just one of these. I mean, it was no big deal. Just um, a little head knocker. Just a, it's a, an unbelievable first half of the... You can't be too surprised by the way the Eagles are playing. They're sharp in this game. They came in ready. Their offense has been strong. I just think the inability of the Vikings to get anything done is uh, is a bit surprising. I think I think they've been been battling this and on the verge of this all year long. The Vikings have not been happy with the play calling. They haven't been happy with the play of the offensive line. They haven't been happy with the performance at the running back position. And and the, the real leader on the team, the guy that's trying to keep them all together, yeah. is Dante Copeland. Because the frustration has set in to great amount with Moss and Carter. Have to get to the 14 for a first down. On third down. Culpepper sprints out, looks back, throws the other way to Doug Chapman. He's got two men in front of him. Picks up the block. Chapman down the sideline. Inside the five and out of bounds at the three-yard line. Great play by Culpepper. 
sprinting out right and throwing back to the left. Well, this was a great call on. Watch this. They're only going to have three guys that remain deep. They blitz eight people up front, Sam, and they have the right call on. They get everybody coming this way, and they flip the ball over the top on a little screen play. Right call at the right time. First and goal for the Vikings at the three-yard line. Pick up a 25 on the play. 17 seconds remaining in the first half. Vikings need something to get them going, and now a timeout has been called by the Eagles. Seventeen seconds remaining in the first half. Dante Culpepper goes to the sideline to talk things over. There's the head coach, Denny Green. This is a big point in the season for the Vikings. As Bill said, it's the time of the year when teams start to separate in the races for the playoffs. And the Vikings, if they lose, would be three and five and in big trouble in their division. Yeah, you know, if you if you think of it as a horse race, they're rounding the third turn. And, and when you're around the third turn, you, you've got to get away from the rest of the horses that can slow you down and cause you trouble. You have to get separation. So that when you get around that fourth turn, you're, you're down the home stretch in December and the sprint is on. Eagles defense. It's been outstanding. Hollis Thomas coming to the sideline. It's first and goal for Minnesota. And watch every quarterback draw down here. Culpepper rolling, looking. Good pursuit by the Eagles, but it took 12 seconds off the clock for Minnesota. They're down to five seconds remaining. How about the coverage? How about Troy Vincent, Bobby Taylor, Al Harris? They've been doing it all day. Dante Culpepper has had time. He's, they've moved the pocket. They've tried to, everybody is covered up. He can't throw that ball there. Look, there's, he can't throw it at anybody on the field. Look back here, look at Reed. Look at Byron Chamberlain. There's no place for them to throw the ball, and that is man coverage. They are manned up, and they're down there, and they're just battling for space. Nobody's getting enough separation from the Philadelphia Eagles secondary for Naval Culpepper to throw the ball. That's quite a credit to Philadelphia. So now, with five seconds remaining, the Vikings have to try to find a way to get into the end zone. They have two tight ends in. Randy Moss going wide to the right, Carter to the left. Errol Morrow is the lone setback. The fade to Carter. He leaps and he grabs it. Touchdown. Chris Carter, who has done this so many times, goes up and makes the catch as he went against Bobby Taylor. So the Vikings score with two seconds remaining in the half. Watch the subtleness of Carter with how he gets away. Right there. There's his separation. It's not a push where he extends his arms, but he gets his arms inside of Bobby Taylor. Now watch, right there. Now he just backs off it. And when he backs off it, he backs off it in time just to go up for the ball. Doesn't enable Taylor to react. Fifth touchdown of the season for Chris Carter. 128 touchdown reception of his career, 129th career touchdown overall. Take another look. Watch the hands inside. Yeah. Chris Carter, he's crafty, he's a veteran. He's got his hands inside. It's right here, now he gets the separation. You see, Bobby Taylor never, Bobby Taylor sees the ball coming. You would think he'd be able to go up and get after it, but instead he fell back away from Carter. Well, the Vikings found a way to drive down the field. They finally got some sustained offense going. A 75-yard, 10-play drive, something they needed badly. You can see the disappointment and frustration written on the face of Chris Carter as the Vikings are still down by 21. Bobby Taylor. It's 
little pat on the back from the guy? Well, you know, it's kind of tough for Bobby. Yeah. You, you know, you play a half like the secondary is played for Philadelphia, and then right before half, you just get caught in a man-to-man -man situation. That fade route's a tough route. It always favors the offensive player because he can see the ball. He knows where it's coming. You're in man coverage. You're, you've, you've got him. You want to stay on him, and then you have a hard time finding the ball. The kickoff by Gary Anderson. Picked up by Terrell Buckwalter. And he gets himself inside midfield down to the 43. That will do it for the first half. A great first half for the Philadelphia Eagles. They go to the locker room with a 31-10 halftime lead. I get no Fox season premiere Sunday. Bart and Homer are attached at the wrist. I gotta go to the bathroom. Use the bottle. No, that's what animals do. Fine, I don't know why we even have a bottle. Find out why on the Simpsons season premiere. Then, you're invited to Malcolm's family vacation. Let me see your bathing suit. I like the little one. No, Hal, you always pop out of the little one. Catch the Malcolm in the Middle season premiere. <laughs> After the Simpsons, starting at 8, 7 central tonight on Fox. Fox Undercover investigates missing crossing guards tonight on the Fox 10 o'clock news. Get 0% financing for 36 months on new Corollas, Forerunners, and Tundras for a limited time only. Looking to save a little time this holiday season? Then go to BestBuy.com. You can find great gift ideas online. Then when you come to the store, you'll know just what to get. Best Buy. This holiday, turn on the fun. When you're ready for a cold warm, it's gotta be a cold cooler's light. When you're ready for a cold one, it's gotta be a cold cooler's light. When you're ready for a cold warm, a Rocky Mountain cold warm. There's cold, and then there's Coors Light. Frost brewed for that Rocky Mountain cold taste. When you're ready for a cold one, it's gotta be a cold Coors Light. This year is a special time to visit New Jersey. We're celebrating the 225th anniversary of the American Revolution, and we're honoring yesterday's heroes and those who fight for liberty today. People always fall for New Jersey, whether it's picking pumpkins or golfing. Don't forget Atlantic City. How about a little fishing? Of course, there's always shopping. Of course. This fall, see for yourself, New Jersey and you. Perfect, together. For your free vacation kit, call 1-800-VISIT-NJ. The Visa Halftime Report is brought to you by Visa. It's everywhere NFL fans want to be. And welcome to the Visa Halftime. We have a full house here to get you caught up, TV has a highlight he will bring you away in just a bit right now. We'll show you that the Eagles all over the Vikings, 31 to 10. Thrash and McNabb doing a nice job. Giants 14-7 over the cart. All right, NFL salutes the veteran. Kyle Turley says, all right, I had a bad week last week. I'm going to feel something today. Rolling right as Garcia finds Carroll Owens on a five-yard touchdown. Ninth touchdown reception on the year for Owens. Back goes Garcia, swing past the key bad Barlow, the rookie out of fifth. Watch this run. Crack, bang, back inside, outside again. Turn it on, Young. You bet he will. 61 yards later, 21 to 14. It's 49ers over to the Saints. 15 touchdown passes on the year now for Car Garcia of the 49ers. Broncos rebounding nicely from their Monday night loss to the Cardinals, although Eddie Kennison retired, and he was supposed to start for the Broncos today. Packers, a straight win in Chicago. Tampa Bay improves to 4-4 four and four on the season. Corey Smith, a career day on the ground. Oh, look at the Rams. 48-14 over the Panthers in that contest. 
Cowboys, ninth straight loss away from home, losing to the Falcons today, 20 to 13. Steelers got all 15 points from Chris Brown, who was one of five last week. He was the hero today. Chris did not pick the Bengals. That's because he knew the Jaguars were a stronger team, and they come away victorious. Up to you. Here he's got the money sign. Dolphins back and forth game against the Colts, but the Dolphins come away victorious, stay on top in their division. Patriots with Tom Brady at the helm, continuing to look impressive. He was efficient today, and the Jets, 20-point winners over the Chiefs. Philadelphia, big boy. Yeah, you know, I, I like what Donovan McNabb is doing, you know, and, and we've talked uh, about it. We've liked it. We, yeah, you don't like it. <laughs> he picked the Rams today in the Porsche quarterback for the most points in the game, and obviously Philly's making a run out of Donovan McNabb moving around, doing the things that cause defenses problems. The more he gets in touch with these young wide receivers, the better this team's going to be. Some to local news, others to highlights. We'll give Chris a chance to talk as we move a little later in the program. Uh, <laughs> that's stuff when he does Visa is proud to celebrate the fans this season. Visa, it's everywhere NFL fans want to be. Fox Tuesday. What stands between Eric and his new girlfriend? Donna. Is this Kissy Girl's phone number? All new That 70s Show. Ah. And Adam Sandler is going back to college on an all new Undeclared. <laughs> then, how do you top the first week of 24? Some very bad things are happening tonight. Fasten your seatbelt. Time to call mommy. Go to hell! You're about to find out. I got two shooters trying to hit me. All new 24. Yeah. It all starts at 8, 7 Central, Fox Tuesday. A new life has begun. Something did happen, didn't it? There's something wrong with your baby. And the darkest mystery of all. You know something you're not telling me. Has been born. They are unstoppable and they are inside the FBI. Lucy Lawless guest stars. She's the key to everything. For your sake, I hope so. But I hope not for mine. I fear for the life of that child. I need answers. The X-Files season premiere, 9, 8 central, tonight on Fox. Boys and girls, can anyone spell this? This is Deuce Staley of the Philadelphia Myra? Eagles. C-A-T. Deuce helps the United Way build stronger communities by supporting local educational programs. Deuce, can you spell chrysanthemum? Chrysanthemum? She got cat. Does someone here need a timeout? <laughs> chrysanthemum. C-H-R-Y-S-A-N-T-H-E-M-U-M. Chrysanthemum. This is a Fox News Halftime Report. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joyce Evans. Topping our Halftime Report, people all over the country are remembering Veterans Day. Here in Philadelphia, one ceremony took place in Washington Square at Philadelphia's Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Mayor John Street and former Mayor Ed Rendell both were there in that service attendance. At the Arlington National Cemetery just outside Washington, Vice President Dick Cheney placed a red, white, and blue wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Afterwards, Mr. Cheney declared to the crowd that the U.S. will win the war on terrorism. It was two months ago today when terrorists attacked the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. During an emotional ceremony at Ground Zero, President Bush and U.N. Secretary General Kofi Annan honored all 86 nations which lost citizens in that attack. Mr. Bush called the devastation yet another reason for Americans to be grateful to our veterans. Then he shared a story about a recent conversation he had with a World War II vet. America, he said, has sent the best of her young men around the world. Not to conquer, but to liberate. Not to terrorize, but to help. President Bush said the same sentiment applies right now in Afghanistan. He said it is America's duty to free all people from terrorism. There are several stories developing in our Fox newsroom that we will have for you coming up tonight at 10. We will have the latest on the American attacks in Afghanistan. Plus, find out how you can attend a local college free and how safe are your children walking to and from school. We will tell you about the dangers they could face. That's it for now. Please join me and Rich Noonan tonight on the Fox 10 o'clock news. Go back to the game now and enjoy it. Go Eagles. This has been a Fox News Halftime Report. You're watching the NFL on Fox. Your traffic and weather every 15 minutes. Good day, Philadelphia, tomorrow at 7.
Now head home for the holidays in any new Jeep vehicle and take along the security of seven-year or 100,000-mile powertrain protection. Plus, through November 19th, 0% APR on select O2 models. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. How about now? No. This weekend, there's one store where you can get 0% financing on all TVs and camcorders. Sears. Where else? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this weekend, there's one store where you can get 0% financing on all appliances. Sears. Where else? Come follow the footsteps of Michael McGee. A foolish and forgetful fellow was he. The mournful moan of a man all alone goes a little something like this. Should he use presto? Now he's sneezing and wheezing and his poor toes are freezing. Oh, poor baby. Scary things happen in presto season. I see two tickets to the Super Bowl in your future. I do, I swear, my vision is my gift. Swing by your favorite presto retailer for your chance to win. authorized BMW Center for lease and finance options. NFL.com, your source for game day coverage. This is a big game. We got to take it one play at a time. Win on three. One, two, three. Go! Exclusive behind-the-scenes access. Up-to-the-minute live stats. No place like first place. Live radio coverage. Whitley won't go down. Whitley won't go down. And post-game features. Hey, listen, great job, fellas. Excellent job. On Sundays, watch your game and follow the rest of the action on NFL.com. Welcome back to Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. Eagles with a 31-10 halftime lead over the Minnesota Vikings. Sam Rosen along with Bill Moss. Bill Moss was just in the Eagles locker room at halftime. Bill, what was it like down there? You know what? The one thing I noticed about in the locker room at halftime, everybody was standing up. You know, if you come in and you're tired or you're losing, everybody's sitting down. A lot of movement, a lot of electricity in the locker room, and then you got the old words going when you have a 31 to 10 lead. Smell the blood. Finish. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. When Andy Reid called him up, he said, it's time, guys. Defense is up first. Continue to tone. You've set this whole game. No lack of in intensity down there, Bill. Did you sense anything, any complacency coming out for the second half? No, not at all. Like I said, you know, everybody was up and moving around. There's an electricity. Things are starting to go for them. Things are starting to gel for them. Remember they said they need to separate from the rest of the pack? This team is separating in a big, big way. All right, Bill, headed back upstairs for the second half. Uh, we want to have a special moment here in Philadelphia today. Young man named Adam Talaferro played for Penn State as a freshman last year was injured, had spinal fusion surgery. He was told he would never walk again. Well, Adam Talaferro rehab at McGee Rehabilitation Hospital in Philadelphia, worked hard, and has now returned to classes at Penn State. He serves as a student assistant coach on the football team, and he's the Eagles honorary captain today. This was prior to the start of the game. Great to see Adam Talaferro back on his feet back at classes and here at the vet as the honorary Eagles captain. Now for the Minnesota Vikings, an important moment because they'll receive David Aker's kickoff. Nate Jarquette is deep. The Vikings scoring to end the first half. Want to keep that going to try and get back in this game. The Akers kickoff, Jarquette at the five. Have it well covered. Gets back to the 23-yard line. Brought down by Carell Buckhalter. First half statistics dominated by the Eagles. 269 yards offense and well-balanced. 139 passing, 130 rushing. The Vikings could only rush for 26 yards. 89 yards passing, 115 total. Four sacks on Dante Culpepper. Two turnovers for Minnesota, one for Philadelphia. 
Doug Chapman in the backfield for the Vikings. Dante Culpepper, the quarterback. Chapman carrying on first down. Gets a couple of yards up to the 25-yard line. The Vikings suffered an injury to the offensive line early in the game when Brad Badger went out with a toe sprain. They moved Everett Lindsay to left tackle and Calvin Collins is the left guard. Matt Burke the center, David Dixon the right guard, Chris Lewinsky the right tackle. Chapman and Feinsasser in the backfield. Carter left and Moss right. And the tight end Byron Chamberlain to the right side. Troy Vincent showing blitz. He's coming. And he almost got there. The throw is for Randy Moss incomplete. Culpepper had a throw with Vincent coming in strong. And Troy Vincent nearly got there. The pass overthrown. Hello, Sam. Nice to see you back. Did you eat all the cheesesteaks and pretzels while no, I was gone? No, I saved you about two or three. You saved me one? That's right. More than that. Atta boy, atta boy. You mean they didn't feed you in the locker room? You know what they have at, at halftime in the yeah, locker room for the players? Sliced oranges and Gatorade. <laughs> That's probably a good thing, too, if you take a look at some of those offensive linemen. You know the food they eat around this place in their new complex? Oh, man. Yeah, they ought to stay with oranges and Gatorade at halftime. Out of the shotgun, third and long. Have to get to the 33. Culpepper gets time, but overthrows Jake Green. So a bad first series for Minnesota. So you talked about the food on Friday at uh, the Eagles At their camp. new complex. Look, I mean, it's junk food Friday. Andy Reid says every Friday it's junk food Friday. They got cheeseburgers. They got pizza. They have cheesesteaks. They have teriyaki wings. They have spare ribs. And, and I had all of them. And I looked like Andy Reid's had all of them, too. Yeah. We're going to start charting the weight of this team for the next couple years now that they have John Cook. Oh, Berger just got that run away. Ryan Mitchell from the 25 with room to return. Gets up to the 39-yard line. Eagles came very close to blocking Berger's punt. 50-yard punt, 14-yard return. Eagles with a big lead. Was the mountains and the snow and the water below? Are you ready? And you will know it's cold at last when the cold light hits your glass. Are you ready for a cold one? Are you ready for a cold cold light? Are you ready? Are you ready for a cold cold light? Invented Toyota Camry. Get the feeling. Well, the first meeting ever between Donovan McNabb and Dante Culpepper, and right now McNabb is dominating play. Oh, well, I got you. I got you. 139 yards, two touchdown passes, one touchdown run from the 39. Crash in motion. Play fake, McNabb being rushed, okay. wins it out for Buckhalter. Nice job by Buckhalter as he gets to the Vikings 45-yard line. He's an excellent runner. They're working on his... Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, that was the fullback Cecil Martin. My apologies. That was Cecil Martin out of the backfield. Well, I want you to watch here. First of all, you've got two deep that are going to stay over the top. Now, here you have this guy. He's going to take him downfield. This is going to be the fullback, and he's going to find his way in the check down. 
He gets nudged right there, and he, the linebacker should stay on him. He doesn't, and he's wide open. It's Staley and Martin in the backfield. Thrash in motion. And the draw play to do Staley. about 1-800-Medicare? Yes, you have, because I just told you. <laughs> uh, must be broken. You can find out what Medicare covers. Get information on staying healthy. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> They'll even tell you what Medicare is, which is important to those who have a gap in their medic. Oh, oh. The bottom line is, for health care questions, turn to the experts at Medicare. 1-800-Medicare. <laughs> Helping you help yourself. There's a lot in your soul. Says you're one of a kind and never let it go Be original An individual Like Dr. Pepper Be you Do what you do Garth's new album, Scarecrow, is available November 13th, wherever great music is sold. Critics are calling it the next great family comedy. The World Budget! The Bernie Mac Show, series premiere Fox Wednesday. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited. Talked about Eagles special teams, 58 I Grease, Tim House 45, Richard Cook 42, three of the leaders that make these special teams so effective for the Eagles. David Akers kicks it off. Major Ken has to run over to take it at the one as they try to pin him in the corner. Goes up to the line, puts down bounds around the 20 yard line. A good kickoff and good coverage by the Eagles. Oh, he just mentioned those guys, Ike Reese, Jimmy Hoff, Shard Cook, Watt Hawk, 45. He's supposed to go straight to the ball. He's outside. Watch him maintain outside force and lay out and make the tackle. Wouldn't allow himself to get blocked. Yeah, take a look at this touchdown. This play's supposed to start here, but it cuts back here. And the reason being, everybody's out of position. Stalin Cole should be underneath there. He goes upfield, no good. On first down, Culpepper rolls and throws to place to Chris Carter. And gets up to about the 39, close to the 40-yard line. Mike Caldwell in on the stop. Third catch of the game for Chris Carter. One for a touchdown. That was a 20-yard pickup for the Vikings. Vikings gave up 41 points in their last game two weeks ago at Tampa Bay. 38 points thus far today. Doug Chapman straight ahead, not on much. But again, just isn't there, is it? No, no it doesn't seem fair. I want to go back to this touchdown, Sam. Stalin Colonne. Look, he has A gap, he has B gap, he has C gap, weak side has D gap. 
Watch Stalin Colonne. He blows this thing. Completely blows it. He goes to your back door, and then look at the seam underneath, and that's what leads to the touchdown. Tyrone Carter doesn't help out with the missed tackle, but it all starts up front, and for their defense of Minnesota, that's where it's lacking. On second down, it's Chapman again. Get a couple of yards before he's thrown back by Hollis Thomas. The tackle who does such a good job stopping the run. He comes out on passing downs. But he's tough to move inside on the run. Third and long. Five defensive backs in for Philadelphia. As Al Harris comes off. Third down. 53% blitz on third down is this Eagles defense. Let's take a look and see what they're going to do. Vikings have to get to midfield. For first down, they have Klein Saucer and Chapman in the backfield. Zone blitz. At the Eagles 46 yard line. Fourth catch of the game for Randy Moss. Here's Moss over here. What's going to happen is the safety is going to drift inside to the tight end. See him drifting to the tight end. Moss recognizes and settles down behind the safety. Excellent recognition, keeping your head in the game. A lot of times the receivers have these route adjustments they have to make in route reads. That was one of them by Randy Moss. First down at the Eagles, 45. Huffepper wants to go deep, and he does for Chris Carter, and it's incomplete. And a flag on the play. Bobby Taylor with excellent coverage on Chris Carter. Had good inside position. I think they may have caught the old vet this time. Let's see. Yes, they did. It's on Chris Carter. We were showing that earlier where his hands are. He, he works his hands inside. He likes to get him inside of the body. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it here. It's actually the backside yeah. here. He was trying to he was trying to push Bobby Taylor by the ball. Pass interference, number 80, Minnesota. 10 yards, repeat first down. See, that's old Al Jury. The guy that calls this on the other side is the field judge, Al Jury. Al Jury's sitting right back over in here, and he sees that handful of jersey. Al Jury's been around the league a long, long time, and he knows the craftiness of Chris Carter. First and 20, Carter on the sideline, Jake Green, Chris Walton, Jim finds off of the fullback on the draw. It's up close to midfield, Jeremiah Trotter. Middle linebacker made the tackle. One of the things that Minnesota wants to get to is their running game. They've been struggling. They've been struggling with the play of the line due to a lot of injuries. Heck, they've lost four pro bowlers in the last two years. And then the running backs with the loss of Robert Smith, they haven't found a guy yet. They wanted to get Jim Kleinsoster going. 275-pound fullback. They figured they can establish a presence of a running game, a power running game with him. They haven't had the opportunity because they've been down so much. Carter is back in. He goes to the right side. Culpepper. Under pressure. Got rid of it. Incomplete. And it for Doug Chapman out of the backfield. Derek Burgess, the rookie out of Mississippi, who's in as a pass rusher, number 59, got close to getting Culpepper. Now you talked about those big plays, Sam. Where's Moss been? How come yeah. they can't get the ball downfield? How about how about big plays running the ball? Chapman has 19 yards on the day. But the not, not one of the running backs, including Cole Pepper, which I think is a mistake. I think Cole Pepper needs to get moving. Just as Donovan McNabb had to get moving here in Philadelphia, Cole Pepper does in Minnesota. Have to get to the 35 for a first down. Cole Pepper to Klein Saucer. The Eagles are there pulls his way across the 40-yard line, but he's short of a first down. Let's see if the Vikings will go for it. All right, what the heck, down. why not? Why not? They're down big, four touchdowns. They have to get to the 35-yard line. It looks like the Vikings will go for it on fourth down. Anyway, you know what you do when you're, you're right here? You, you got three wide receivers, you spread them out. Uh, 
timeout Philadelphia. Okay. Timeout called. 6.15 remaining. In the, it make it 8.50 remaining in the third quarter. And a big lead for the Eagles. enough to drive a Tacoma. Ready? There is the world you know, and one you can only imagine. Where you can navigate satellites, or fly without ever leaving the ground. Where you can live in the future before it even arrives. When you cross into the blue, everything is different and important, especially you. Let's sound it out for your Pittsburgh Steelers! I don't care what stadium you work for, right? If you want to write a check for who let the dogs out, I'm still going to need to see some ID. Next time, use the Visa check card instead of cash or checks. It'll get you in, out, and on with life. His favorite student defied his trust. He bought his college essay off the internet. Now, will it be too much for Senate to handle? You know, this is why teachers quit. That's why we quit. The hit series Boston Public, all new tomorrow on Fox. Bobby Taylor was injured on the previous play. That necessitated the timeout by the Eagles. They couldn't get him off the field. Now he's on the sideline. Rashard Cook has come in. They have three safeties in. Al Harris is in as well. Fourth and four for Minnesota. Culpepper has time. Nobody open. Waiting, waiting. Still right. nobody open. And he gets away once, but he's twice. Right. Hugh Douglas. Brings him down for another sack, the fifth sack for the Eagles today. Big, big, big mistake. Which was? Uh, Dante Culpepper, he had time, especially when he moved a little bit to the right. He only had to get five yards to pick up the first down. Get the first down. He's standing there looking downfield to make a big play. See, make the first down, give your offense an opportunity to stay on the field. For some reason, and I don't know what it is, Today, Dante Culpepper has not been moving around. He has not been making the plays out of the quarterback position that he has normally made. Hugh Douglas has been making plays. He always will. Two and a half sacks in the game for Hugh Douglas. Five for the Eagles. Here they go to the end of the round to James Brad. Brad with Will inside the 40 as he is taken down by Eric Kelly. And they are using all the plays in the playbook. And, and look, everybody's smiling. Andy's smiling. He's, everybody's happy when things are going well. You know, we got on this food basis. We were talking about halftime, and then we were talking about uh, the junk food product. If you're talking about two meals, okay, yeah. the Minnesota Vikings meal, if you're at a restaurant, you sent it back to the kitchen. You didn't like it. You sent it back, and you said, fix it. The Philadelphia Eagles is still in the kitchen, and they're still working on it. They're still preparing it. And they're almost got the garnishes ready to go on it. On first down, McNabb. Sideline throw for Todd Pinkston. Broken up. Kenny Wright on the coverage. Bring up the second and ten for the Eagles. Hugh Douglas. Hey, I'm surprised to see him sitting down, to be honest with you. <laughs> because he's got he's one of those guys that is just high strung all that energy he has he gets that motor going I i'm really surprised to see him sitting down ryan mitchell is in and is split out to the left side everybody out mcnab running looking for someone to come open and he throws it away and he's outside the pocket and can throw it away lance johnstone number 51 puts a lot of pressure on donovan mcnab we're talking about the yards. What's Andy whispering about? He's down there whispering like it's some secret. Everything he calls is working. 
Just call anything. It doesn't matter what you call. Look at the total yardage in the game. Deuce Staley has had a huge game. 12 carries for 112 yards. His first 100-yard rushing game of the season. He's also caught four passes for 49 yards. Empty backfield. Staley's out to the right. McDaniel being rushed, and he throws, and it is incomplete. It's headed to James Bryant. And the Eagles will send the punting team on. 58, Eddie McDaniels, he's going to come on the blitz, try to cause a little pressure. Trey Thomas blocks Lance Johnstone, then comes back and picks up the blitz. And he, we saw John Runyon do it. We saw John Runyon get his block and then get up on the safety. There's Trey Thomas doing it. When things go well, they go well everywhere. Second punt of the game for Sean Landetta, way up in the air, and a fair catch called for by Nate Jarkett. He's got it at the 13. And the Vikings offense will come back on the field. 26-yard punt, no return. 7.36 to go in the third quarter. Ernie, when something works, you stick with it. There you go. After bypass surgery a few years ago, I needed to lower my cholesterol. My doctor told me about Zocor. He said Zocor, along with a healthy diet and exercise, could really lower my cholesterol. Okay, let's do it again. Taking Zocor every day has kept my cholesterol where it should be and significantly reduces the risk of heart attack among people with high cholesterol and heart disease. That's something to feel good about. Zocor is a prescription medication and is not for everyone, including women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant, or people with liver problems. Your doctor may do blood tests to check for liver problems because serious side effects can result. Tell your doctor about any muscle pain or weakness you experience and about any medicines you are taking. When diet and exercise aren't enough, ask your doctor about Zocor. Take care of yourself. It's your future. Be there. I need a car? Shopping for a used car will never be the same. No. A convertible. A red one. With under 15,000 miles. Welcome to Autotrader.com. With a million and a half used cars updated daily, it's the biggest, best used car site on the planet. You couldn't help me with a loan, could you? Can we help you? Autotrader.com. Your car is waiting. Fox NFL Sunday. Brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Proud sponsor of the NFL and official airline of Super Bowl 36. By Autotrader.com, the biggest, best used car site on the planet. By Zocor. Talk to your doctor about Zocor today. And by Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Be you. Nothing's better. Dr. Pepper. Vikings from the 14-yard line. Travis Prentice. Excuse me, Jim Kleinsasser. In the backfield with Travis Prentice. And it was Prentice on the carry. Kleinsasser in the lead block. Number 40 gets up. Short pickup on the play. Jim Kleinsasser out of Carrington, North Dakota. Farming country. His whole family plots, right? He said, you know, he did NFL work, training camp, all that stuff. Nothing compared to the grunt work he had to do cleaning out the grain bin. Culpepper, short drop. Big pressure. Just got away from Hugh Douglas. And the pass down field is complete to Chris Carter at midfield his way to the 48-yard line of the Eagles. Well, Hugh Douglas had his hand on the quarterback. He just comes inside. And see what happens when you come inside underneath the rush. And you give up that contained lane to a scrambling quarterback by Dante or, 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 or McNabb. When you do that, when you gamble and you come inside, Hugh Douglas has an excellent inside move. He sets it up real well off his speed rush, and he comes inside. He gambled that time, and McNabb beat him. I'm, I'm sorry, Cole Pepper beat him. Picked up 37 on the play. Hugh Douglas comes off. Vikings out in Eagles territory. Cole Pepper drops it off to Doug Chapman. With three blockers in front of him. Chapman turns it into a good game down to the 30. Still on his feet. And fights his way forward to the 28-yard line. Al Harris made the stop. A 20-yard pickup on the screen pass. To Doug Chapman. The Vikings scored their lone 
touchdown at the end of the first half, got the opening kickoff of the second half, failed to do anything, and then the Eagles regain the big lead. Find Sasser the lone setback. Two tight ends in, two wide receivers, a Reed and Moss. Pepper rolling and throwing and completes the ball to came back. Down to the 15-yard line. Hollis Thomas went back and made the tackle on Randy Moss. 13-yard pickup. Fifth catch of the game for Randy Moss. Nothing of the deep variety. No. And even that play wasn't the plays that you're accustomed to or you've been accustomed to seeing out of Minnesota over the last couple years. And it's a team that's in an offensive transition. You know, that long bomb, that long touchdown pass used to energize the whole team. And that being taken away has also taken away a lot of the team's energy. On first down, Culpepper to the end zone for Byron Chamberlain. He was double covered. Troy Vincent knocked it away. Brian Dawkins was there as well. You know, you just talked about Dawkins and, and also Troy Vincent was over there on the play. And, and, and you, you look around the NFL and you think about Bobby Taylor, Troy Vincent, Brian Dawkins. These guys have been together yes. for a while. You can throw Al Harris in the mix here. They yeah, do it. yeah, you can go that far. And he came about three, four years ago. But together, collectively, they've played in a ton of games together. They've been the starting guys. And it goes back to, I believe, 1996. Before Harris. Harris came in about 98. But the other three, I think, got here in 96. And they, I don't think any defense in the NFL has guys that have been together that long. Well, but for short to Chris Carter. And the five-yard line. So the Vikings going with the underneath stuff and have gone down to the Eagles five. Fifth catch of the game for Chris Carter. You know, and, and I think that's the reason that Dante Culpepper has really become the leader of this team. And you talk about a team in offensive transition. The, the team, the offense is his now. And he isn't going to force that deep ball when it's not there. He's going to take the underneath things, the things that defenses are giving him, just like that pass right there. But if the Vikings can't run the ball, the offense won't be effective in the long run, Bill. Long ball? No, absolutely not, because you don't, you, you'll never bring up that safe now. A lot of movement. Flags go down. I got it. Coachman. No, I think Calvin Collins may have lifted up. I think Coachman. Yeah? Okay. Let's see. Ron Blum will let us know. Coachman, 96 Philadelphia. Half the distance to the goal. Repeat first down. Paul Grasmanis, you went to that referee school. That's why you won this. You knew that. <laughs> Next summer, I'm going. Ball down at the Two and a half yard line. Brian Saucer and Morrow in the backfield. But Bill, wouldn't you say the biggest difference is, is with Robert Smith gone, the losses on the offensive line that the, the Vikings just don't have that effective running game anymore. And it hurts their entire offense. There's no question. Brian Saucer to the goal line. He dropped the ball. Yeah, he broke the play. They dropped the bag. Maybe a fumble. Brian Dawkins recovered the ball, but did he break the plane before he fumbled the ball? From here, I thought he did. I thought he was over. I thought it was a touchdown. They did not signal touchdown. The officials did not signal a touchdown. Ball is out. Yeah, that, that is a fumble. If you're going to extend ball with fumbled, was picked up in the end zone by Philadelphia. Defensive back. He never got out of the end zone. It's a touchback. First down, Philadelphia. Nice, nice job by the officials. If you're going to extend the football to break the plane of the goal line, you have to extend that thing with two hands. Klein Saucer has his left hand in to kind of protect his body, and then he tries to extend it one arm with his right hand, and that's where it comes out. It's loose right now before it ever crosses. There you see it. There, there's the ball coming out. Had he had two hands on the ball, the officials would have signaled touchdown.
looks like the Vikings are going to challenge the call. Well, that, 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 that's a big mistake. Who's ever watching with the replays? We just watched. It's Byron Chamberlain is being helped off. Not putting much weight on his right foot. He was injured on that last play. The Vikings have challenged the ruling on the field. And Ron Blum will go over and take a look and see if he has clear visual evidence to overturn the ruling, which was a fumble. Right here, looks like that ball's coming out as he reached the goal line. It's tough to see from this camera. Our camera isn't on the goal line. Our camera's kind of looking at that kind of yeah. angle. It's not with the goal line here, so it's, it's kind of tough to see, but unless we have a different shot, it has to be, as you said, Sam, clear visual evidence to overturn that. Well, if it is, if the ruling stands as a fumble, it's just typical of the day the Vikings have had filled with mistakes, missed tackles, and turnovers. Here's a camera shot. You know what? You ask and you get around here, Buck. <laughs> Huh? You ask and you'll receive. That's close. You know, it's so close. Well, there, you see the headlinesman. See that? See the blue bag? He, he ne watch that shot again. If we can take another look at that shot. Take a look at, I believe it was the headlinesman down here. Yes. Mark Falk. See the blue bag he throws right there? That little blue bag. He flipped that out. He knew it was a fumble instantly. He never once believed that he had control of the ball as it touched or crossed the plane. That, that's a telltale sign, I believe, right there. But a tough day for Denny Green and his team. And they've got a tough schedule ahead. Here comes Ron Blum with the... After reviewing the play, there isn't enough sufficient evidence to overrule the call on the field. It is a touchback. Minnesota is charged a timeout. That explains it. It's not enough to, uh, to change the call on the field, which was a fumble. Klein Saucer is a fumble, a turnover for the Minnesota Vikings. Their third turnover of the game. Two fumbles, one interception. And the Eagles will start from their own 20-yard line. 331 remaining in the third quarter. And the Eagles with a huge lead on the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings' next game will be a week from tomorrow at home against the Giants. And then they have to play the Chicago Bears. The Eagles go to Dallas next week. Do Stanley the 100 yard mark and it's up close to the 25 yard line Jeff Hazaga number 90 made the tackle Jeff Hazaga number 90 for Minnesota is making his NFL debut he is from a division three school now watch the Minnesota there's a strong safety Carter one two three four five six seven eight guys up there and they're still getting four yards on a pop that's what Minnesota isn't able to make other defenses do for them. Donovan McNabb completes to Freddie Mitchell up at the 30-yard line. That's a first down for Philadelphia. Mitchell with his second reception of the game. Freddie Mitchell, the rookie. There's Deuce Staley's numbers for the day. Freddie Mitchell, the rookie out of UCLA, is starting to come on. Well, you know, he was hampered a little bit by the injuries he came into the training camp with. And then they thought they were getting him well, but it never got to 100%. But Andy Reid said he's real, he's well now, and he's really got a grasp. He says he's a real smart kid, understands what he's got to do. Staley breaks through. And he is pulled down by Orlando Thomas, but not before he gets 15 yards to the 45-yard line. Somebody better check whatever the heck Deuce Staley's drinking on the sideline. Huh? He, 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 unbelievable power moves anything he wants to do today. Look at the job blocking up front. Chad Lewis walls off the linebacker, Lemansky Hall. 
and then Runyon on that side seals the whole entire side of the line. 15, 14 carries, 131 yards for Deuce Staley. This time it's Terrell Buckhalter. Buckhalter up to the 49-yard line. Lance Johnstone, who's a local product, played at Temple, made the tackle. Look at this, Sam. 10-yard average per touch today with runs and catches. Yeah. Been a big day for Deuce. Just a big day all around. The, the Eagles' offense has been outstanding, and they've also cut down on the penalties, which have hurt them in past games on early downs. McNabb pressured, throws low, and it's incomplete. Intended for Todd Kingston. Bring up a third and five at midfield. You know, at that time, you, you said he was pressured. They came with a pressure. They came with a blitz. Minnesota is trying to bring a blitz. The thing that they haven't been able to do, that Danny Green alluded to at the top when he was talking about his defense, we've got to stop the run first. If we don't stop the run, then we can't get to the quarterback. They are unable to get to McNabb. Buckhalter in the backfield. McNabb feels pressure, throws short, and it to Thrash. He dives for the first down. That's a good effort by James Thrash. We've got an update from JV. Let's go to him right now. Hey, Sam, after spotting San Francisco, a 14-3 lead. Saints coming back. Brook hooked up with Joe Horn, six yards. Brook, Gary Bradshaw said, was really rolled back. He played a lot better. He has 19-30, 271, and two touches. Back to Sam and Bill. You never know what you're going to get with New Orleans. Up, down, sometimes good, sometimes bad. Slow start, big comebacks. They're kind of like Philly. They've been pretty good on the road. Stay light. He's still not down. Eric, he's still not down. He just got down to the 35. Kelly was trying to pull the ball out of Staley's hand. Staley was too strong for him and just picked up another eight yards. Somebody go paint up a game ball and give it to him right now. It's a great day for Deuce Staley and the Philadelphia Eagles. They're three quarters of the way home. They lead it 38 to 10 at the end of three quarters. We'll be back after a message from your local Fox station. You're watching the NFL on Fox. Fox Undercover investigates missing crossing guards tonight on the Fox 10 o'clock news. Make more of your extra value meal with the Mickey D's dollar menu. Add a side salad, a chicken fajita, a McRib Jr. sandwich, and more. Each just a dollar. The choice is yours every day. are here and we've made the best even better like the new 2002 nissan Sentra. what attitude what features what more how about zero percent short-term financing plus five hundred dollars cash back on a new nissan Sentra? triple a's top car hey there's no better time than now to drive the best zero percent financing plus five hundred dollars cash back offers end november 30th nissan driven Come get the snacks you like at a price you love with the Mickey D's Dollar Menu. Enjoy fresh baked cookies, pies, fries, and more. Each for just a dollar every day. Only at McDonald's. Sam Rosen, Bill Moss, and the Fox crew here in Philadelphia where the Eagles have a huge lead on the Minnesota Vikings as we start the fourth quarter. No, no, no. Eagles second down and short at the Vikings 36. McNabb got away from Hoban. There's a flag on the play. The completion is made to Deuce Staley. Takes it inside the 20 to the 16. As much as I am enjoying watching Deuce run, will somebody please tackle him? <laughs> I mean, please. So what you're saying is the Vikings have had a bad day making tackles. Wow. And the 
penalty is against Minnesota. The gain was down to the looks to be around the 21 let's the 16 yard line. Legal use of the hand, number 25, Minnesota, five yards, and forced from the end of the run, first down. So the run was 20, the pass and run was 20 yards, back on an extra five, puts the ball at the 11-yard line. The Eagles have had over 400 yards total offense today. The illegal use of the hands was at the jam, the jam, his hands went up into his face mask. You're not allowed to do that. Two tight ends in for the Eagles. Terrell Buckholter cutting inside, but he stopped at the line of scrimmage. No game on the play. Well, the Vikings defense in some serious trouble, Bill. 41 points given up to Tampa Bay, 38 points thus far today. You know, I, I'm going to go back to 98. It cost them, their defense cost them a trip to the Super Bowl when they lost to Atlanta. They couldn't stop Jamal Anderson. Last year, it cost them a trip to the Super Bowl by not being able to stop the Giants. Right. Empty backfield, four wide receivers in. McNabb being blitzed, and Kylan Wong's got him and won't let go. First sack of the day for the Minnesota Vikings, only their 10th of the season. And, and that, that's really, Sam, part of what, what the problem is that they only, that when your sack has to come from your linebacker, you only have 10 on the season, and your sack has to come from your middle linebacker, not your outside linebacker, which you usually think are more of a pass rusher type, not your defensive lineman, but by your middle linebacker. Eight games, 10 quarterback sacks. And it's hard to be able to get pressure on a quarterback when you can't stop the run and you're dealing with third and three or third and five. Have to get to the one-yard line for a first down. McDam swings it out to Deuce Stanley. He has the room one-on-one with Thomas. Cut inside. Brought down at the three-yard line. Stalin Colonnay got him from behind. Otherwise, Deuce would have made it to the oh. goal line. Oh, my gosh. Orlando Thomas is just... He knows it. Here's Orlando. He's got Deuce. Watch him follow him. Now he's one-on-one -on -one with him. He should attack instead. He starts backpedaling. He, 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 he just didn't want to get embarrassed because he's been dealing with it all day, as has every one of the defenders for Minnesota. You see Deuce get the ball. You close. Boom. Close down. The Eagles will settle for the field goal. It'll be a 21-yard try for David Akers. And it is inside the upright and the eagles now have a 41 to 10 lead that ties the most points scored by an andy reed team 41 10 philadelphia hey steve show me miller lake show me miller lake show me miller lake show me miller lake stop to the remote hey peanut Grab the unbreakable plastic bottle from Miller Lite. I'm such a clutch. I'm down. It's Miller time. I'm okay! Whisper it. Shout it out. Send it in an email. Write it in the sky. Or wrap it up and hand it to her. This is the season to tell her how you feel. Certified diamond jewelry set in 18 karat gold, starting at $2.99. There is passion in here. Zales, the diamond store. Trying to save a little time this holiday season? Then come to Best Buy, where you'll find something fun for everyone on your list, all in one place. Best Buy, this holiday, turn on the fun.
top running backs today. Marshall Falk, two touchdowns, ran for 183 yards. The St. Louis one big over Carolina. Curtis Martin, three touchdowns, 113 yards. This is Chesapeake, Kansas City. Amon Green, 93 yards. Green Bay one in Chicago. And you saw the numbers on Corey Dillon. Cincinnati lost to Jacksonville. Big day today for Deuce Staley. Put him right at the top. On the return, Nate Chuckett for Minnesota. It's across the 30. And up to the 32, New Stanley has run for 139 yards, six catches for 85 yards, 224 yards total offense to lead the Eagles. Maybe we can see the back. The 9-11 Carrera. Drive one or admire one. Pantheon 4 processor, the center of your digital world. Hey, Stan, remember that time we went hiking and you found that baby golden retriever? Oh, yeah. Hey, little guy. Didn't that dog have rabies? That's right. Dead, didn't it? <laughs> golden retrievers sure are cute when they're little, aren't they? <laughs> I wonder what ever happened to that dog. I still have him. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by the United States Marine Corps. For 226 years of faithful service, thank you, Marines. Happy birthday. By Fidelity Investments, we can help you see yourself succeeding. By Behind Enemy Lines, on November 30th, it's time to cross the line. And by Budweiser, the crisp, clean, refreshing taste you'll find in no other beer. But a tough day for Minnesota, and that's the man they missed badly, Robert Griffin. Oh, look at the yards. With Robert Griffin playing, 4.1 yards average per play. With Allen, 7 yards. You don't think there's a difference? That guy's a playmaker. Getting close to returning. They hope to have him back next week under big pressure. Culpepper got rid of it to find Saucer. And he gets up across the 35-yard line. You Douglas with big pressure on Dante Culpepper. Almost there, trying to get a hat trick today in sacks. And we talked about the energy level he had. Andy Reid says he never shuts up. Talk, 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 talk. He says he won't let him get on the bus from the hotel to the game. He makes him either get a cab or sends him some other way. He won't let him on the bus. He says he's disruptive. He talks so much. He's the only player on the team that doesn't have a roommate in training camp or on the road because he's talking all the time. He keeps the guys up at night, Sam. Bob Pepper being one of the loose ball. And it is recovered by the Eagles. The Eagles have it. Fourth turnover of the game for Minnesota. Brandon Whiting recovers the fumble. It's in the backside blitz. Here comes Rashawn Cook off the slot. Cole Pepper never sees him coming out of the corner. They come from the back side. They bring four to the weak side. Just not enough blockers to pick him up. They're not calling the dogs off yet. We ought to be flying for a rock star. We could save the music. They found us! It's Jack! It's Jack! On November 30th, Archangel is down, and I am on the run. Get ready. Our man is down behind enemy lines to cross the line. Let's go get our boy back. Behind enemy lines. Ready PG 13, November 30th, only in theaters. Then I had that taste. The new grilled sourdough bacon cheeseburger at Burger King. Now I'm a believer. With grilled sourdough bread. Not a trace. A quarter pound of flame broiled beef. Two 
slice of melted Swiss cheese, four strips of bacon. The new grilled sourdough bacon cheeseburger will make you a believer. Now for a limited time at Burger King. Shrek, the biggest movie of the year. Now available wherever videos are sold. I'd like to take a look at my investments. Can Fidelity help me with some planning? Go through what I'm invested in, goals and so forth? Of course. You know, now might be a good time to look at your entire portfolio. Yeah? You can help. Well, certainly. With Fidelity Portfolio Review, we can help you draw a complete picture. Really? Sure. Fidelity and non-Fidelity accounts, IRAs, 401k, stocks, mutual funds, even the effects of taxes. How do we start? Well, we meet in person or over the phone. That's great. <laughs> Let's get rolling. For a free review of your portfolio, call 1-800-FIDELITY. It's Bart and Homer like you've never seen them before. Attached is the wrist. No kids in a bar. How's it going out there, boy? I'm so scared. That's my little slugger. Find out why on the Simpsons season premiere, 8, 7 Central, tonight on Fox. Eagles from the Vikings 26. The draw play to Deuce Staley. Mm -hmm. He gets a couple of yards. Six sacks. For Philadelphia, and four turnovers. Well, Fox tonight, the best of Sunday is back. Jam packed with a night of season premieres, starting with King of the Hill, The Simpsons, Malcolm in the Middle, and The X Files. That's Fox season premieres Sunday, kicking off tonight at 7:30, 6:30 Central only on Fox. I think you need to start thinking about taking out the starter, especially Deuce and Dom. I just like the way he plays the game, the little bit I've seen of him. Plays it with excitement, a flair for the dramatic. He'll come up with the big catches. He's got enormous confidence. That's what it takes. You know, that, that, that's what it takes to play this game. Confidence. Some guys have it when they walk in the door. Some guys, it takes them a matter of, of repetition and years, and then they get it later on or in the middle of their career. Freddie Mitchell has it, and you use it as much as you can. Deuce Staley, the long setback. First and goal for the Eagles. It's Staley on the draw. Gary Kelly for the first hit. But look at Staley. He won't go down. <laughs> he goes inside the five to about the three-yard line. Uh, he won't go down, and, and there's no one out there that can bring him down. You remember, remember uh, when you take a look at the draw play? They set it up. First draw. You know, remember when Mike Sherman kept Brett Favre in the game and they were having a blowout game and they kept him in and then he got hurt? He got his thumb hurt or his hand hurt? They ought to think about getting these guys out. They've done an outstanding job. Get some young guys some rip. Winfield Garnett being helped to the sideline. He's hurt. It's different down here. <laughs> EA Sports Civic Game. Ready to be for everyone. When you're ready for a cold walk, it's gotta be a cold cooler light. When you're ready for a cold one, it's gotta be a cold cooler light. When you're ready for a cold walk, a Rocky Mountain cold walk. There's cold, and then there's Coors Light. Frost brewed for that Rocky Mountain cold taste. No matter who you are, or what you're into, isn't it nice to know you'll be accepted? That's why the Redskins' biggest fans, the Hoggett, make sure to bring their Visa cards to the Forecast Boutique. Visa, the official card of the NFL. Do I look fat in this dress? Yes! On the season premiere, you're invited to Malcolm's family vacation. Let me see your bathing suit. I like the little one. No, Hal, you always pop out of the little one. Malcolm in the Middle, season premiere, 8.30, 7.30 Central, tonight on Fox. <laughs> Second and 10. 
third and goal for the Eagles. Just inside the five, they have three tight ends in. The play fake to Staley. The top touchdown to Mike Bartram, the third tight end. Bartram's, I believe, first catch of the season. Bartram's first catch of the season. The man who was brought in as the long snapper gets it in a three tight end formation and gets the toss for the touchdown. And you can do that when you're up 41 to 10 and now 47 to 10. The extra point is good. Mike Bartram's third career touchdown. He had two with New England. Donovan McNabb, third touchdown pass. Bartram gets the TD. They came from every corner of the country, from small towns and big cities. But they all shared one thing in common. They belonged to a family called Marines, a tough and determined few dedicated to protecting everything we hold sacred. And still, they come. Celebrate the 226-year history of those proud few who have earned the title. Marine. Where'd you learn to shoot? Boy Scouts, sir. He recruited him. Central Intelligence. He'd be working for me, mostly undercover. He trained him. Never risk your life for anyone. Comes down to you or them, send flowers. But on November 21st... Tom Bishop's been arrested for espionage. He will risk everything to save him. We got zero room for error here. Seven minutes. Robert Redford. Look, I know what I'm doing. Six minutes. Red Pit. Where are you? Coming home. 30 seconds. Spy game. Get out now. Rated R. At theaters Wednesday, November 21st. There's a light in your soul Says you're one of a kind You'll never let it go Be original An individual Like Dr. Pepper Be you Do what you do Dr. Pepper Be you Do what you do Nothing better what happens tonight? Programs expanding in ways no one ever dreamed of. Will leave you breathless. Lucy Lawless guest stars. The X Files season premiere tonight at 19 Central on Fox. On defense, you're always trying to make something else happen. Eddie McDaniel's supposed to have Bartram here, but he's trying to get up in the run, and Bartram gets by him. For McNabb, third touchdown pass of the day. David Akers kick off, Nate Jaquette at the six. Buck Alter tripped him up, he stays on his feet. Good return by Jaquette. And finally, Barry Gardner rolls him out of bounds up at the 43-yard line. Mike Bartram, he's keeping that ball. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah, he's keeping it. When your long snapper gets a touchdown, things are going well for you. Three career catches and all three for touchdowns. Two in New England. This is his first as a Philadelphia Eagle. I bet he has the other two. <laughs> uh, that, that one's gone home. Paint that up, put it on the mantle. It's been, He's got three balls. Yeah, yeah, you have one on the end, and then one in the middle, and then one on the other end. Travis Prentice in the backfield with Dante Culpepper. Now as the Vikings go from the 43, it's Prentice on the drop line. And he's tripped up and brought down by Ike Reese. First half, Eagles put up 31 points. Thrash on the reception. McNabb on the run. Thrash with his second touchdown. And Corral Buckhalter. And it was 31 to 10 at halftime. And the Eagles have added to that 48 points. Pepper completes it to Chris Walsh for his first catch at the Eagles 49 yard line. About a yard short of a first down. And for Minnesota, it's got to be really, really frustrating. They, they've got to be embarrassed beyond all belief just given the fact that they've had two weeks to prepare for this game. 
they've had time to see Philadelphia, to game plan it, to set them up, to cover up their weaknesses and exploit what they have, accentuate the positive. And, and, and they've been unable to do that from the onset of this game. Third and one, you see Minnesota total yards, offense 242 yards. Culpepper in trouble, running for the first down. Guided out of bounds at the 32-yard line by Al Harris. Let's check in with JB for an update. Hey, Sam, tell Bill, these two teams have studied each other well. The Saints and the 49ers trailing 24-21. Garcia hooking up with the tight end, Eric Johnson, 10 yards. Fourth TD toss of the day for Garcia. It is now 28-24. Sam Fran with 9.34 left in regulation. Sam and Bill. Back and forth they go in an important NFC Western Division battle. You know, and, and the severity of the Central Division race, the NFC Central. Tampa Bay came in here knowing that now's their time. Everybody called this a critical game. Culpepper throwing and incomplete. Minnesota, you mean? Minnesota coming in here. Yeah. Yeah. Said Tampa Bay. Did I? Yeah. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm talking about the Central right. Minnesota coming in here knew knew the severity of this game. They they knew that Tampa Bay was playing today. They knew Chicago was playing today. Harris had a few choice words for Culpepper by making Culpepper throw the ball out of bounds. And Ike Reese came in as the peacemaker. Harold Morrow is the lone setback. As the Vikings go with four wide receivers on second and ten. Culpepper completes to Randy Moss. And he tripped up the 25-yard line. A couple of yards short of a first down. Ike Reese with the tackle. Missed tackles for Minnesota. Quarterback sacks. Eagles with six. And the total yardage, 442 to 264. Eagles continue their great offense in the red zone. Deuce Staley with a great day. Third and two. Culpepper rolling. Lunges forward, but he's short of a first down. Well, we had a look at what happened in the first half. Deuce Staley in the second half. That made it 38. Forty-eight, and that dude really jumped up the second half. Donovan made some things happen in the first half to help the early scores. But you know what? You can talk about the West Coast offense and the things, the philosophy in which they do things. In a game, that's what they want to do. They want to score early by halftime and then kind of grind the ball out in the second half. Vikings call timeout as they want to talk over the fourth and two. Six minutes to go in the game. The Eagles 48, the Vikings 10. Then I have that taste. The new grilled sourdough bacon cheeseburger at Burger King. Now I'm a believer. With grilled sourdough bread. I'm not afraid. I'm not in my mind. A quarter pound of flame broiled beef. I'm in love. Two slices of melted Swiss cheese. Four strips of bacon. I'm the new grilled sourdough bacon cheeseburger will make you a believer. Now, for a limited time at Burger King. Shrek, the biggest movie of the year. Now available wherever videos are sold. mountain air, you know? Nothing like it. Mm. Oh, man. Ooh. Ooh. Introducing the Jetta Wagon, with room for 70 cubic feet of anything. Ah, the great outdoors. Mm. Fox, in it.
NFL's Sunday is brought to you by the New York Stock Exchange. The world puts its stock in us. By Volkswagen. On the road of life, there are passengers and there are drivers. By UPS, the official delivery company of football fans everywhere. And by Rocky Mountain Cold Coors Light. Are you ready for a cold one? With old glory. Waving briskly in the strong wind here at the vent. The Vikings have a fourth and two, four wide receivers in. Eagles coming with a blitz. Pumpepper throws first down. Chris Walsh with a sliding catch. There's a flag on the play. The Eagles are signaling against it's against Minnesota. Randy Moss is upset. Oh, he's start. yelling at the ball start. Ball start 84. Illegal formation, number 84 and number 81 were both up on the line of scrimmage. Five yards, repeat four down. I'm glad that Ron Blum found the camera. That was important. He had been missing a couple of times. Seventh penalty of the game for the Vikings. That, I can't think of any positives in this game for Minnesota. Can you, Bill? Uh, the positive is that there's 5.56 left yeah. in the game before they get yeah. on that flight home. Do it. Do it. They are set back to the 29. They have to get to the 22 for first down. It's fourth down. Four wide receivers, two right, two left. Everybody out. Culpepper is throwing for Randy Moss. He's got it. He's got a touchdown. Well, it isn't much, but it's a Culpepper Moss connection for a touchdown. Randy Moss's third touchdown reception. It's a 29 yarder. They're supposed to have safety help on that by the free safety Brian Dawkins. It looked like Brian Dawkins was injured on the play. He was trying to get over the top to help out on Randy Moss up to the middle of the field. And he wound up, he fell down on the ground and was injured. And Dawkins came limping to the sideline. Gary Anderson for the extra point out of the hold of Mitch Berger. And it's through. So the Vikings on a fourth down play. Dante Culpepper hits Randy Moss for a touchdown. Okay, Vegas. Austin. Tulsa. Vegas, honey. Yuma. And Austin. Strong kid. It's another doubleheader Sunday, the pregame show at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. Atlanta Falcons visit the Green Bay Packers. The Eagles are at Dallas. Second games, Chicago at Tampa Bay, Washington at Denver, Detroit at, Saint, at Arizona. It's the NFL on Fox. Troy Detmer is getting set to come in the game for Philadelphia as quarterback. Ryan Mitchell is deep. Mitchburger is kicked off. And he kicks it deep. Mitchell from the six. And Jeff Huzaga making his NFL debut made the tackle. We asked Denny Green yesterday what the Vikings need to get going this season. I think you've got to stop the run better and run the ball better. I think that's still the foundation of winning games in the National Football League. Once that happens, then I think field position comes into play. Then, improved pass defense, which is apparent, we are, at a show up. And our passing attack, which can be good, will show up too, but it starts at the basics. Well, the, the basics today, Sam, haven't been very good. No. Philadelphia has rushed the ball on them 227 yards. And they haven't run the ball at all either. Terrell Buckhalter right up the middle continues the rushing barrage for the Eagles. 
led by Deuce Staley. And Buckhalter's a very impressive back, isn't he, Bill? Did I just read that right? 227 yards rushing? Yes, sir. Holy mackerel. Well, Deuce is running for 100. 8.8 average? Deuce is running for 147. And he's averaged eight, better than eight and a half yards per run. I, I, I've never heard of anything like that. Done. I, I've never heard of anything like that. 227 yards they've given up on the ground? Where you been? <laughs> they've been going all day long. Buckhalter carrying. The rookie from Nebraska. Randy Moss. Look at him, look at him. Yeah, he, 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 he's pissed. Look at him, he is pissed. He's talking about that defense on the field right now. And and there's Carter over there, and they're sitting down there with Duck. How can these guys get anything going? With, first of all, they're not on the field that yeah. much. The clock's getting chewed up. They're, they can't get out on the field and do their thing. They started today's game backed up about their five-yard line in a hole and have been in that hole ever since. Point Denver quarterback, Buckhalter races through and gets a first down across the 35. Terrell Buckhalter, rookie out of Nebraska, fourth round pick. They really like his running ability. They want to round out the rest of his game, getting better at uh, pass receiving and blocking. Pass protection, yeah. But uh, his running ability is outstanding. Well, Andy thinks they have a great one-two punch now. With a healthy Deuce Staley, and Buckhalter, and he, he thinks the sky's the limit for what this team can do. Now, we've seen what this team can do against Minnesota and against a team like Dallas, but they need to keep this on a consistent basis. It's Buckhalter as they keep it on the ground. Fred Robbins made the tackle. Philadelphia Eagles go to Dallas next week, then they'll come home against Washington. They'll go to Kansas City. Home against San Diego at Washington. That's the schedule to me, Bill, that looks conducive for the Eagles to make a strong run here. In the Washington, Washington's improving a little bit now. Uh, San Diego has a tough defense, but you're exactly right. Those games right there are very winnable games. Now, what they need to do is continue off of what they're doing here. Now, you can't run the ball like this one game and then come back like last week and not run at all. And you can't shut down Minnesota like you did this week and not do it to Oakland. Buckhalter rushes through, and Orlando Thomas took him down. Buckhalter was close to breaking it all the way. He's brought down at the Vikings 38-yard line. Well, we've talked about Donovan McNabb. We've talked about Deuce. But let's give the game ball to these guys right here. Uh, how about those hedgehogs up front, that offensive line? Look at the job. Look at the lead block here. The seal by Brzezinski. Brzezinski's in. That's not even Wellborn, the starter. Yeah. That's Brzezinski, the backup. These guys are doing What an outstanding job. Pine, Jim Pine's in at center. Here's Wellborn. He's over at right guard. Mayberry has stayed in there. Wellborn's actually a right tackle. Right tackle. Right down. Buck Walter, another strong run down to the 29-yard line. And we have reached the two-minute warning. The Eagles keeping it on the ground as they wind down to the final gun with their huge lead. Fox NFL Sunday, brought to you by UPS, official delivery company of football fans everywhere. We started modernizing sled operations in 78. We have to assure that billions of children receive billions of toys overnight. And UPS has the technology to help make this possible. Some elves have worked here long enough to remember the good old days when we'd make a little wooden train, write for Timmy on it, and leave it to Santa to figure it out. Today, UPS helps us track any toy from the time it leaves our facility to the time Santa leaves it under the tree. You know, I tell you, the guys in the brown truck make my job a whole lot easier. Hey. So it's $31.99 a month, right? Yep. Over 100 channels, all 100% digital quality. Cool. Upstairs. What are you waiting for? Chop, chop. Got it. What? You think I wash cars for free? Just $31.99 a month gets you over 100 channels of DirecTV programming. Right now with free professional installation. Okay, sir, you're all signed up. Same old. 
one driver. When Bobby takes a woman's self-defense course, will he go too far? King of the Hill, the season premiere at 7.30, 6.30 Central, tonight on Fox. It gets tough for the Vikings. They'll go to three and five. They are now really falling out of the race in the NFC Central. And you see the schedule up ahead. Not an easy one for the Vikings. Buckholster's 11 carry. 65 yards. JB's checking out New Orleans and San Francisco. What's up, JB? Sam, it's a war back and forth. New Orleans was trailing 28-24. Had a chance to go ahead when Brooks hooks up with Ricky Williams. He dropped the ball right in his hands. They settle for a 36-yard field goal. It's now a one-point game. We'll take you there at the conclusion of yours. Back to Sam and Bill. Thanks, JB. Bonus coverage coming up as soon as this one ends. We go to San Francisco, there's 5.42 to go in that game. Right here, the Eagles will run out the clock as Denver will go to one knee and let time run out. Today's game was produced by Michael Burks, directed by Rich Russo, Associate Director Marcy Kempner, our broadcast associate Tom Yoey, technical producer David Graham, studio show produced by Scott Ackerson, directed by Bob Levy, the senior producer of Fox Sports is Bill Brown. The executive producers of Fox Sports are Ed Gordon and David Hill. Our statistician in the booth is Emmett McGuire. Our spotter is Gary Lynn. Computer stats, Mark Sasa. And we thank the entire crew. And we will be sending you to Pat Summerall and John Madden in San Francisco. The Eagles will maintain First place in the NFC East for the fourth consecutive week. Longest stretch in a long, long time. The Eagles have been in first place. They are five and three, and Minnesota is three and five. Well, they've taken that step that Andy Reid's talked about to get them separated from the rest of the pack. An offensive explosion today for Minnesota. They thought they, this would be their turnaround game coming off the bye week. Just not there on defense. 489 yards total offense for Philadelphia. 275 yards rushing, 215 yards passing. We're going to San Francisco for Bill Moss. This is Sam Rosen. So long. Let's go to Pat Summerall.